So, last time, if you guys recalled, um, you were mostly keeping to yourselves. Um, the first part of the session, it was a bit of relaxing. Leave was leaving. Um, there was talks about getting a certain echo, some blood from a certain butcher, um, which was done and the echo was seemingly satisfied. Um, but after that, uh, you guys had a meetup with Mara, um, who was, you know, suspicious of Lyrum for some reason. You're not sure why, but you have some inclination involving some of the previous things she does in her off time. Um, but overall, it was a pleasant experience and she got to know you all better. Uh, and I believe after that, you guys had a talk about what to do for um, the Lady of the Night situation. You decided it would be best to hold off and if anything stop the robberies from happening happening giving a letter to um uh, giving a letter to her saying hey he is wanted by the adventurers guild he's in danger you should have him stop Aliyah delivered it they chatted with the lady of the night the lady of the night revealed some if not most of her plan to Aaliyah, um as well as also revealed the information that they have an inkling of on who Lyrum is. Um, after that, uh, you guys had pretty much a week of, not relaxation, but, well, pretty much relaxation. There was guard work for Osku. They hanged out and had um, some band time with Mara. They also hanged out with Marlin. Marlin came by. There was something that happened involving Marlin out west that um, caused a number of people from the backhand guilds, which is um, a human trafficking guild, to be caught and the guild was stopped thusly and the peers works are now in the effort to uproot the black market. Um, but he generally stayed by your sides and chatted. Um, Lyrum, you... I believe you studied more on what was going on uh, with Aaliyah's situation. Also, you had to talk with Arya, who was very concerned for your well-being and also had a strange inkling that there was something between you and Aaliyah, but you assured her that was not the case. Um, lastly, Kara... Uh, you pretty much helped around a little bit. You got prepared for the situation at the gala. Um, and once was doing some research for you. And he seemed particularly maddened by what he was finding out. Some mysterious aspects of yourself, but some things you already well knew. Um, but nonetheless, he presses to have a better understanding and a better sense of research for you. Um, but with that, I believe that's everything. Do correct me if I'm wrong. No, I suppose not. But before anything else, we are going to describe the evening of the first of Volen. It is a, or it was a sunny day today, not a cloud in the sky, which only made it that much more obvious when the ships arrived. Not from Dacia. It was known and talked about within the city that the Prince of Dacia would arrive via cart. But 
the Admiral and the Head Admiral, and three of his warships for Lartrum had arrived into town. The most impressive of which was the Metamorphosis. The Metamorphosis is this long airship, and when it moves through the air, it moves um, similar to an inchworm, like an accordion of sorts. The middle scrunches up, and then the forward part moves forward, and the back scrunches up. It didn't move oddly through the sky, but even still, its deck guns and wings are an opposing sight over the skies of Lar- Lartrum and Centurium. Two other warships are there of smaller scale, but nonetheless of significant show of force, even though this is a technically supposed to be a joyous day. There are a number of more regal folks, and though... Um, there is a fancy event going on. Most people are enjoying their day, while others um, are seeing it as a chance to celebrate, as there is not often much time to celebrate in this city. So as the gala is occurring, there are games, there are um, street fortune tellers, people are trying to make today something special, not just for rich, um, but for for the lower class folks as well. Um, Kara. It would be night. It's probably around 8 p.m. ATU has been doting over you pretty much most of the day. Um, You were asked to her, by her to pick her up, but she came to you uh, and she made sure that your hair was straight, that your clothes are pressed, um, how to posture, how, how to present yourself, how to bow politely. Um, and I need you to roll me just a general performance check. Oh, I'm good with that. To um, kind of emulate this regal form. Easily, um, as though you were doing it uh, most of your life, you would easily begin to follow the mannerisms and pick on it, up on it very quickly. Uh, and if you'd like to describe what Kara would look like, please begin to prepare your mental image of that, as I'll describe ATU. ATU, um, pull up my notes for this. Da, 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 da. ATU has a brown kind of sundress. Um, It is sleeveless. Um, It kind of goes around her chest, and and you would notice a number of copper flowers. Um, Almost not a rosary, but um, a flower crown of sorts would be on her head. You'd stand about five, six. She doesn't have any heels on or anything. And she looks fairly plain, even though this is quite the special occasion. Would you like to describe Kara? Uh, Kara is wearing a red kind of suit on the top with a black undershirt underneath, like a the red overcoat. Uh, is wearing just fancy looking black pants, just general. Uh, shoes, probably like some nice brown shoes. I don't know the specific name of nice shoes. Uh, it's okay. Dress shoes. Dress shoes. That sounds mm-hmm. correct. Uh, hair is needed. Is much neater. Sort of like gelled down kind of and not okay. as messy as normally. And instead of the normal gloves Kara wears, he's got just full finger uh, black gloves covering his hands. Okay. H.U. would say now, are you sure you are prepared? You recall Xander's advice, yes? Uh, yeah, I have it actually written down with me, just in case I forget a few things. Good. Remain impartial. It is our job as the Diplomacy Guild to remain impartial, no matter what. Is that understood? Yes. Very well. There will be times when I am with you, and there will be times when you need to be on your own. Is that understood? Yes. Good. Understood. Now let us walk together. 
Okay. That she'd hook your her arm around yours, and you would begin to uh, walk with her. Her steps rhythmic and to the point. Um, you are let through the by the guards, and you would see there are a number of carts pulling up to this building along the walls. The building's outside looks as though it has only recently been refurbished and reused for this purpose. Uh, the lights inside are bright and you can already see people standing, drinking. Though the space, honestly, where this gala is attending, it's relatively small compared to ballrooms you've heard about. It's maybe 50 by 50 feet across, which nonetheless is an impressive room size, but with this many people, you think that probably get a little crowded. Um, nonetheless, as you make your way up, you would see people are being refused entry. Um, ATU would merely present herself in a curtsy, and the guards would let her through with you as well. And as this is going on, we're going to jump away a second. So the night at once is shot, where I assume most of you are, and if you aren't, please say so now. <laughs> I did just one. Th I did just say that Aaliyah would have told Kara later the night said no attacks at the party to ease his mind before he had gone. Okay. That's the only thing, though. Right. So. As this evening is occurring, an evening of celebration, what would be, we'll start with Lyra. What would you be doing? Um, probably, I, mm, I can't really go anywhere. Uh, staying away from windows. Okay. Probably cooped up stress baking, I'd say, is the best thing I could do. <laughs> sure, roll me survival. Oh, it's not going to go well. I'm going to enhance ability myself. By all means. Using magic to make myself better at baking. It's more likely than you think. Right. Would have enhanced Oop, I meant to roll with advantage. I'm so sorry. More than fine. Oh. Well, it's bad oh. no matter what. That whether, tracks. Whether it be from the nervousness of your safety, which most likely for Liam. What is more likely is nervousness for Kara. You know how ruthless these people can be, how cutthroat, how rude, demeaning they can be. You've seen it all your life, and you hope that they will spare him this. And as you're cooking, I would say you're absentmindedly pulling out whatever is in the oven and they would fall to the floor some what would you be baking i should state they'd probably just try to make cookies <laughs> yeah some cookies would fall to the floor they're still good it's just it's not as much as you hoped um, okay they'll kind of just sadly sweep it up and <laughs> put the good ones on the counter and throw the bad ones away aria would be screaming at you and grave eating some of the cookies that fell on the floor no, 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 don't eat the floor cookies. What? Uh, as this is going on, what is Aaliyah doing this evening? Would you be staying with Liam? Would you be out in the she's staying at Yeah, she's staying at once. She doesn't want to go out right now. Okay. She wants to stay put just in case a car calls or anything like that happens. Okay. Staying put. Oscar. I would say, honestly, you might be on guard duty. That's fair. Um, and you have specifically asked to guard once his shop. Um, and the captain, well, again, heard this and um, has obliged your condition. Um, they would, I would say, ask, you know, where would you like to be stationed? You could be stationed outside the shop, inside the shop, because you know once. Um, 
it's generally speaking wherever you like as long as some aspect of the building is being monitored and he would honestly suggest that you monitor the inside on the first floor hmm. okay ask you would follow his recommendation okay there's not many people um in sight i would say the blinds would be closed um all the stuff that is usually upstairs is um, downstairs in the basement, um, including once for that matter. It's, um, I would say you all would have had some dinner beforehand, and it's it's around the time when he starts, well, not winding down, but locking himself in his room and working. Mm hmm than that you would know marlin apparently especially this night has said that he's gone elsewhere he needs to make sure some of his people don't get into any trouble is what he stated okay and aria would just be making um making sure to try and cheer up anyone that looks particularly down and Seeing how Lyrum, I assume Lyrum, are you a little nervous? I know I put words in your mouth earlier. Uh, they are. <laughs> yeah, so Arya would be sticking by your side and making sure. If there's any other convers, if there's any conversations you guys would like to have, now would be the time. There will be opportunity to later. I'm assuming I'm not on the floor to stop Arya from eating the floor cookies, am I? No, I would say you'd hear, what are you doing? <laughs> and what sounds like a dive to the floor above, and then a Lyrum letting out a heavy sigh, perhaps. Aaliyah would try and shoot Arya away from the floor cookies. <laughs> Five seconds. Is up there? Five second room. No. We're fine. We're okay, she's eating the floor cookies again. Mm. I don't know how often... I don't clean this kitchen. Liam, do you clean this kitchen? I clean it sometimes, but presidigitation mm -hmm. only does so much. Yeah, don't eat the floor cookies. It's magic. It gets rid of all the bad stuff. Oh, God. That. We're going to go ahead and pull away again. We're going to go ahead and pull back to Kara. That's it. you would be led inside a building with the guards um and you would see the main floor is to your left and there are a number of side rooms throughout this building this building looks uh, again only recently furbished um and there are a number of people in the hall dining talking but the thing that grabs your eye the most is what they're wearing. In the city of Centurion, there is a wide selection of clothing from the plutocracy, from people from the Grove, from people from the Southern Lands, which usually dress in a more Victorian-like style. But this, this is the definition of gaudy. Uh, giant um, dresses that have the circumference of maybe six feet um strange large wigs that would reel back and come almost like horns um, you would notice something also a little odd there are a number of half orc younger folk here a number of younger dwarvish folk here and a number of younger humans here. You see very little tieflings, very little elves. You see um, almost no dragonborn, I would say. This event seems rather exclusive to a degree. And I would say ATU would lean over to your shoulder and she'd explain. The younger folks that you see here are the children of the three large farming families in town. Duke's Livestock, 
Emmerich Fields and Cattle, and Mr. Chez's Cheeses and Produce. Be kind okay. to them. They are snooty. Okay. Uh, as you're walking through, you would be eventually entering the main hall where the gala is taking place. And you would see a number of people of interest. And I'm going to ask you, Horvath, where do you think his eyes would wander to first? Would it wander to people in groups or people alone in corners? Uh, probably people who are alone. All right. You would notice two people alone in corners. You would see there is a relatively tall man. You would assume if he stood, he'd be about six foot. He has salt and pepper hair, and it, um, the hair from his chin has a streak of white. His hair is slicked back. He is dressed in a vibrant cloth, a vibrant clothing, um, but he has a green button-up um, dress shirt, a dark blue vest, and dress pants. And he seems completely uninterested with this entire affair. The next person would be kind of on the directly opposite side. Um, they would appear to be an older, uh, dark-skinned woman, bald. Um, you would see her clothing is like that of a mosaic. It looks like glass and it shimmers in the light. She stands around 6'3 and she is stunning. Um, you would see she has some form of symbol on her neck, but it's too hard um, to see. Immediately, A to you would say, I am going to speak to the other fellow diplomats. I wish you luck for the time being. All right. See, she thank you. Give a curtsy, and she'd leave you be. Where, and what would Kara do, in a crowd surrounded by rich folks in gaudy dresses? Um, it's hard to say who's who here, but. There are a number of people of interest, but those two people are what immediately your eyes spot. Okay. Which of the two are closer right now? Because that's where Kara would probably head towards first. Um, I would say the tall woman is much closer. Okay, I think Kara is going to head over there. You would approach, and it would seem almost like people are avoiding her. You'd see she'd look down at you with um, almost onyx-colored eyes. Um, she seems surprised to see you approach, but she gives you a nod. She gives a small curtsy. I have not met you before. Well, uh, I've come to introduce myself. Uh, hi, I'm Kara. I'm from the Diplomats Guild. Uh, who are you? I'm the High Priestess of the Church of Temperance, from Dacia. Oh, nice. You may simply call me... Shatter. Shatter. Got it. It's an ironic name, considering my faith, I know. <laughs> what brings you here? Well, I just saw you were here by yourself. So I wanted to, to come chat for a little bit, you know, make you hopefully less bored than just sitting here. Hm. I appreciate your courtesy. You are very young. Yes. How old well, are you? I'm, I'm 22. 21. Ah. 22. So you smile. Well. Wow. You have a lot ahead of you, that is for sure. Well, that's, that's good to hear. I'd hope so, <laughs> you know? You seem nervous. I mean, this, this is my first time to, like, one of these events, so it's, it, it's a lot to take in. Trust me, you're doing better than most already. Oh, thank you. 
you'd look over at the crowd and her face would be a look of tem uh, almost disappointment. Tell me, do you drink? Uh, I've, I've drank before, but like, I'm not an active drinker. You are not, as they say, a party person. Uh, I haven't, well, I mean, I haven't really been to a party before, so can't say if I am or not. At your age, I'd assume young boys would be invited to many parties. I've never really had the chance before. This is really the first time I've had, had the chance to go to one. I see. Well, I hope you enjoy it more than myself. Alright. Well, it was a pleasure having the chance to talk to you. Pleasure speaking to you as well. Alright. Farewell. Now that you've completed that, I'm going to give you two more options of people to talk to. Okay. Um, it's like a choice tree. If I, if I choose one person, I unlock two more people. Uh, well, before that, actually, I would say you would hear footsteps approaching you. Quite quickly, a number of people. Uh, you can also hear ATU's footfalls as well, as it's hard to miss the sound of wooden feet against um, stone floors. You would see um, a number of plutocratic dressed individuals with suits and ties. Immediately you notice something is odd about them. Most, if not each of them, have a number of slight disfigurements. Some have eye patches, some have prosthetic ears, noses, some have missing fingers, and they look not like the type of people that would be attending a gala. They all look like they've been in hard-working labor. But leading the pack would be someone very familiar to you. Long blonde hair, 5'7", the hair reaching past his shoulders. He has vibrant green eyes, a white poofy shirt, um, he has a colorful overcoat with green and red diamonds. He owns jewelry in the form of earrings. His shoes are pointed and heeled, making him around 5'10". Um, and you would see he is ecstatic to see you. You would see Xander. And he would approach you giving a big hug. How are you, my boy? Well, great, you should have told me if you were coming. <laughs> well, it was along the way and we didn't think we'd make it in time, but... It seems there has been a divine precedence. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. How have you been? I'm doing quite well. These here are men from the Welders Foundation that I'm taking southward to meet with the College of Elements. Please. We would gesture you to introduce yourself. Oh, uh, hi. I, I'm Kara. I'm the, uh... How, how would I describe our relationship? Would it be like, I guess, foster parent? You're, you're my foster parent, basically. Correct. And I guess I'm also learning to be a diplomat, too. So that's why I'm here. Pleasure to meet all of you. He looks you over. The man looks unimpressed with you. You sure he's an adventurer? He's not an adventurer, so he would immediately interject. He's a diplomacy guild. He has gone on adventures. But I'm not sure how many. The letters I am more than appreciative of. And I would actually like to meet your friends at some point, if you don't mind me, Kara. Oh, uh, of course. Definitely. How wonderful. Though we will have to leave come morning. Oh, uh, okay. Quite the busy schedule. Then we can do that later tonight. Of course. Um, immediately, someone around your age would push forward in the crowd uh, of Plutograng individuals. Um, he looks quite young. He has a bright smile, and you would see he would be carrying what looks to be a strange backpack, um, a set of goggles with no lenses um, that kind of look like flat. Uh, I want you to imagine 
a super rudimentary VR slash AR movable set. That is what this man has. We're talking, um, it wasn't Nintendo 64. I forget exactly, but. The virtual Boy? The Virtual Boy, exactly. Uh, he would go, um, hi, um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry, my compatriots are so quiet. It's, they're not used to this type of thing, nor am I. Uh, pleasure oh. to meet you. I'm Jacob Fredericks. This here is Derek Smith. He gestured to a much older man with a missing nose, with a prosthetic covers. Derek would say, What have you killed, boy? Killed? I, I, I haven't killed anyone. No. Monsters. Have you killed any monsters? Uh, I guess there were, there were mimics. I help deal with. Okay, Xander, I owe you two gold. <laughs> if they're not, Xander would laugh. A friendly bet. He think you never kill anything. I, I try to avoid killing if needed. Hmm. That's a rare thing nowadays. I appreciate it. Eric would say. Well, hey. thank you then. Jacob would say, um, would you like to try my device? Um, and Xander would say, I'm afraid not. Carl is very busy. His first task here is to mingle and to stay out of politics. See, the men would laugh. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'll try. All right. I wish to say hi, and I don't mean to leave you so soon, but there are people I must speak to here, very important people. And do be careful around that Prince of Darcia. He is a vibrant bunch, I'll say. Okay. Understood. I'll leave you to it. I'll see you later. He'd walk off um, with the plutocratic man, kind of holding his shoulders around them, chatting. Holding his shoulders around, holding his arms around them. Um, so, the two next people I'm going to give you the option to talk to. Um, you would see three figures. You would see a older a human, older dwarf, and an older orc chatting with someone. And you can't really make out who this someone is. Um... But it seems they kind of have this person in a corner and they're just non-stop chatting with them. Um, the other person would be this um, much older military man. Um, he's 5'8", he's cleanly shaven, his hair is buzz, curled, he's dark-skinned, stoned face. Um, he has a crimson uniform with many medals. Um, and it looks like his eyes are darting about. He looks like he's trying to find a way to get the hell out of here. Okay. Hmm. So you have three options. Three crowded, uh, a crowd of three people kind of cornering someone, chatting with them. Um, a man, Admiral, that looks like he wants to get out of here. Um, and that same man just sitting unamused with the entire event. I was probably interested by the three people trying to talk to the one person and trying to figure out what's happening over there. You'd approach and you'd hear talks. Please, I'll pay you a thousand gold for one of your cows. You'd see the dwarf would say, Hey, I'll pay you two thousand for just one. The orc would say, I will give you cheese for life for one of those cows. Um, what would you do to break up this exchange? Hi, so what's what's happening over here? I, I noticed a lot of commotion, so I'm just curious what's, what's going on here. Immediately, you would see breaking past the three men would be um, quite a sight, I would say. They're around your height, and they would appear around your age. Um, they will have vibrant, almost piercing red eyes. 
His clothes are like a mosaic, shining and somewhat transparent. Underneath the colorful mosaic would be plain clothes. He has earrings of diamonds and a necklace with a gold plate with rubies on the side and an onyx in the center. Um, he looks ecstatic to see you. And I will go ahead and show the art as this individual would immediately put his arm around you and would say, I am very sorry, gentlemen, but my escort has arrived. I must depart immediately. Good day. And he is dragging you away from them. Okay. Uh, with that, we are going to go ahead and cut back to uh, everyone else that wants a shot. I see the forbidden love child oh has arrived. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me show the art again. Oh my god, I'm not ever going to be over that. There you go. Pain. But, um, <clears throat> as this is going on, I would say once would uh, come up from underneath, below, from the basement floor. He'd see you, Oscar, and give you a nod. How is it? You don't mind me asking. How is it up here? Yes. Quiet, I see. Yes, not much has occurred. Thankfully. I was wondering, and plan to ask the others upstairs, do you know anything about Kara? Where he came from? How he does magic? Anything? I'd say I have. All I really know is something about these. Was it Xander fellow? I haven't really heard much of them before, but they sound important. You sound important. Thank you. I'm going to ask the others upstairs the same thing. Hopefully they know a bit more. Hopefully. I would say you guys would be um, just finishing up the cookie fiasco. I got one. <laughs> she caved. I got one. <laughs> Once you say it smells delicious up here. It's on the floor. Oh. You go over and pick up a cookie off the floor. <laughs> no, not you too. I lived most my life in poverty. This is not. Okay. A question for all of you. Mm. Mm? Do you know anything about Kara? Where he's from? How his magic works? Anything? Um, yes, actually, a, a bit. By all means. Um, God, um, Xander Wertlose, I believe his name is her diplomat. All right. Um, Kara is his ward. Um, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Arya, he doesn't have any memories preceding the age of ten. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's actually false. Um, he and I had a talk once, and he remembers a melody of some sort. Um, apparently, I believe his mom played piano, and it's one of the only memories he has. And we talked the last next time we see a piano together. Um, I'll try and play the melody for him. Work it out together. Do you play? Uh, no, I, I don't, but I mean, I play most instruments, so how hard can it be? Um, mm, I... <laughs> do you play? Yes, I do. Well, perhaps you can assist us. <laughs> okay. Um, but y yes, once he has, um, what seems to be now selective amnesia of childhood... Um, his magic is has... tied to his blood. Yeah, like but his blood not... isn't magical. 
Yeah, it's like he uses it for casting. Yeah. See? I mean, once I'm sure you're aware that my blood is magic, I know how to recognize it. It's He's not. Give a nod. I've come to realize that myself in many ways. He casts um, a spell in battle. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I've never seen Leave cast it. I've never casted it. Um, I've never seen anyone else cast it. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Why are you asking this? What happened? I've been asked to secrecy. To a degree. Even though because everything I've worked out found... so well for us. It's true. Everything I found out, though, he already knew. Which terrifies me slightly. Something? Oh, God, it... I... I hope you may forgive me for this. I believe it is within not only his best interests, but yours to know this. Something isn't right with his blood. He has two types. It's not well known, the study, yet. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out myself, and I've looked into the study of human craft and just blood in general. But people have different types of blood in them. One of his blood type is different. It makes symbols in it when it's on a plate. It's not delivering oxygen, I believe, not doing anything there, dormant. And I'm not sure. You said it wasn't delivering oxygen. I believe, but he has blood that is. It's perhaps a disease of some sort or some type of transfusion that had gone wrong in his past as apparently there was some kind of accident that was too traumatic for him to know about. Perhaps to keep him alive, this transfusion occurred, but... His parents died in the accident. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another thing he likely doesn't wish for... Which you know? then he was immediately fostered into the care of Mr. Wetlows. We don't know that. I don't think he knows that. Either. Why does this terrify you and not worry you? <laughs> Symbols. He'd show it to you, and you would see it. But as soon as he puts it away, it escapes your mind. What did it look like? I hate magic when it does this. Um. That is what terrifies me. Some type of image, perhaps it's a word, I don't even know. But Once, do you think he's a warlock? I have suspicions, yes. Power granted to him by something else. Someone else. But he's forgotten the deal. Perhaps. When you're desperate to live, perhaps you don't recall making such a deal. You do anything to live. I don't know things about magic deals like that and such, but could someone else make that deal for you? Or could it be passed yeah. down in families? I don't know. It's a contract. It's like a contract. You have to sign it. Hmm. Maybe. There's... Could someone pretend to be him? It didn't. And forcefully sign it. Didn't we have a conversation? Uh, Aria, you were playing. We were all sat together. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Who was there? It was me. It was someone else. Someone else was there. She said something. They said something. About all of us. Oh, yeah, there was someone, wasn't there? What was their name? I don't know. But, but... Oh. Oh, Oscar, I'm so sorry. They implied that all of us in some way were dead, Aria excluded, including Kara. Or should have died. Or should be dead. Hmm. She wants his in deep thought. 
you remember what this person looked like? Do I? <laughs> no. 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 You see, he looks at the page with the symbol. Perhaps there's a connection to it. Shit. Don't mm. know. Can't say for certain. <sighs> it's something to look into. Something to keep sure. an eye on. Yes. For his sake and for yours. I will be plain with him. I will tell him that I have said everything that I have said. Perhaps he will be more obedient to provide answers. And I know it is strange for me to have worry. When I asked him to take off his gloves, he refused. Such a simple thing to look at one's hand, but to hide it, it inspires worry. Once he has spent the majority of his life locked away in terms of what we know in one place, who knows the things he fears to show or told to hide away, especially if something's wrong with his blood like that. Does he have any... Other than you lot, has he had any friends in the past? People that knows, knew him? He knows no one outside of us and Xander as far as we know. And ATU. And ATU. For the diplomacy guild that he met after he met us. It is a worrying thing. Uh, I, I, as someone who was locked in one place for a majority of my life... You hide the things you are told to hide, and that you are trained to hide. So, see, he'd... As a heads up, Emma, you have background. Uh, Sorry. Yes, also, how has things been for the two of you? Looking into, you know, perhaps dying? Perhaps, what do you mean? With what you've told me. You've looked into your conditions. Both of you. Uh, no, I have not looked into my condition. Why not? I'm rather focused. On... And it's not a big deal, so... Uh, if I recount what you've told me, you've died. And you don't know how you're alive. That is correct. I, for one, would like to understand what has occurred. Perhaps you've made a warlock deal of your own without your life. No. No, I wouldn't do that. Trust me. Hello. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're in session, Duck. Yeah. We forgot to move. Move, move, move. I'm gonna miss. Oh, where'd Duck go? I disconnected him. You disconnected him? It's okay. I can edit it out. No. Sorry, Duck. All right, Duck. To be fair, I don't think we ever told anyone that we moved session time from 8 to we 7. We did. We did. Duck. Um, where was I? No, it's start now. Hmm. So, you haven't looked into your condition, but Aaliyah, what of yours? The more we look into, the more questions that seem to show up. That is the way of many things. I seem to have some kind of connection with my Echo now, most likely because of the slack. She's sentient. 
and I'm trying to teach her common to communicate better. Awesome. And she suggested that she's the reason why I'm still alive now. I didn't fall fully to the addiction. Well, perhaps for your both both of your sakes, I can do some research in the sense of uh, material samples, your blood, parts of you examined. You wouldn't mind providing that, would you? Either of you? I trust you once. Mm -hmm. But you know what you're asking me, right? I totally forgot. I'm very sorry. You need not provide it. If you are concerned in that regard. I have not gained your trust yet. I'm I said I trusted you. Just dispose of it once you're done analyzing it. Be burned in the fire. But. What of you, William? Would you mind providing me some of your blood and perhaps this sentient form would provide some of it? I can't imagine she'd be okay with being poked or prodded. You can take mine as a sample. Very well. They provide you both a vial. And, Lyrium, you have to cut deep for yourself to start bleeding. Only yeah. still, all out for it falls out. Leah, it's a much different situation. When you cut, it is like a syrup. It slowly pours, um, pours out. Um, I would say, um, not to add to the negativity, but apparently from what you've told me, Liram, you said you could drop dead at any moment? What? That is worrying. That was something I didn't plan on sharing, Arya. I did not know that, and I'm sorry. Perhaps I leave. should example your Bible. No, I will it's... leave. No, no, oh. leave the person. Oh, right, sorry. He just told me that I might maybe die again. Perhaps whatever magic that is currently enabling me to not be dead will wear off at any time. So he just said, kind of prepare for that. So that's fun. Notion. <laughs> eh. I'll examine you as an idiot. If it happens, it happens. It won't happen. That's what I said. There were a bit of negativity about it. When I pressured them, Questions of why they've been worrying about something. Because they've been quite clammy. Liren would shoot Arya a look. I'm just saying. You need to open up more. Don't be afraid to let others know how you feel. It's okay to say if you're stressed. I, for one, would have to agree with her. Sorry. Not yeah. Anymore. Aria, the two are right next to each other. Oh, because they're so similar. Personality-wise, yes. What? What? It was a joke. Uh. And I laughed. Uh -huh. She had looked so offended <laughs> for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excuse me, Leah. I have large two sample. walk on down past you, Oscar, and they would say to you, so you have apparently died. My and who told you that? Hmm? And who told you that? A little bird. 
Would you like to share? It's all right if you don't. Back in the low lands, I faked my death. That roll is all. Roll deception. Ah, oh, poor whites. Huh. Very well then. Whoever that you were before, me be, and if you needed to get rid of them, good riddance. Embrace the new you, whatever it may be. Thank you. Walk down stuff. Is there anything you guys would like to anything you guys would like to say to one another? Now's the time. Oscar would walk upstairs. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. <laughs> no upset, Dragonborn. <laughs> Dad is mad, guys. Does, does Oscar look upset? You can't tell. <laughs> he's a metal <laughs> man. Look at the, the way he's walking, the way he's carrying his body like True, true. Does he look upset? Which steps are a bit louder. He's closing the door. Leah. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Do you know, by any chance, know where Liram is? I just need to speak with them for a moment. What for? Once asked me a concerning question before they went back downstairs. What question? That I apparently died. Did you? I told you this before. I oh, right. ate my death in the lands. That's right. Well, back to your first question on where Luram is. I'm not sure. They were here stressing over car. I told them to go get some air. They might have stepped outside, I think. Wait, how did they get outside? I was downstairs. Did they jump out the window? I think they went invisible. Wanted to be left alone for a bit. <laughs> I need you to roll fucking deception, Aaliyah. He's good at that. He's good at that. Oh. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Maybe we'll just talk to them in the morning. They'll probably come back in and you'll see them, I'm sure. Neither of you sleep, right? <laughs> or at least, I never see you sleep. Do you sleep? You work those long hours. You ever see me close my eyes? I can't see your eyes, really. <laughs> Not well, at least. There's a little bit of green. Like a little bit, but she's yeah. like not that close to him. And he's also really tall. <laughs> well, I will just probably talk to them later tonight. Sounds like a good idea. Smells like they cooked something good tonight. Was it? Uh, it fell on the floor, but it was still fine. At least the one I had. Well, that's one way to not waste food. I'm going to go back to... This is an air quote. Guard duty. Ah. <laughs> Alright. I'll try you down. Okay. Uh -huh. To... I'd say Ari would just be giving you a look the entire time that conversation. You heard all of that, Lyra, by the way. Oh, yeah, the second Aaliyah said that um, I think they went outside to get some air, Lyra turned invisible. Oh, <laughs> Ari, it was Just totally in case. Confused. Okay. Where the fuck did Lyra go? <laughs> there he is. Right here. Oh, fuck. Surprise. Mm. Magic. Well, looks like you or he will want to have a chat with you. I didn't. I said as a group we'd all died. It wasn't I as haven't. though. I... What? I haven't died. And good for you. you. Just make it sound like. No, you're the cool kid among us who hasn't died. Uh, I would like to think I'm the cool kid among you that's a bard. That doesn't make you a cool kid. I'm 
think okay <laughs> maybe i maybe i am just cool it makes you a nerd that does not make me a nerd you're a nerd i lived the opposite life of a nerd in college you studied music sounds pretty nerdy to me I, yes i studied music do you know music theory yes that's pretty nerdy that's like music and math mixed together i'm less of a nerd than you that's true leah who's the biggest nerd here there we are that's true also yeah Right, well, do you guys want to play some cards or something? Sure. Just not too loud, otherwise Oscar will get in trouble. I'll get in trouble with him as well. No, I'll just turn invisible again. I can't do that. Oh no. Go get caught. You guys would enjoy a game of cards. To pass the time. Who jump. wins? Oh, okay, well, roll me either insight or deception. God damn it. Fucking Lyrum. Oh. God damn it. Fucking Lyrum. <laughs> wow, this is the saddest game of cards. <laughs> we all rolled nines, technically. <laughs> that uh, Leah would win at the end of the game. With that. Little plus crew. Let us play our game of cards. Kara. Audi. You have been whisked away by this figure um, who would very quickly kind of lead you to what uh, the place by the window. And he'd say, Thank you so much for getting me out of there. It was a nightmare. I'm not your escort. I know you're not my escort, silly. You are my getaway. It was a lie. Oh, oh okay. Exactly. I just needed to get away from those farmers. They were pleading for one of our cows. And what a nightmare. To think that they'd rather talk about cows than talk to me. Ridiculous. Oh, uh, who are you, by the way? Um, I'm Kara. Uh, <laughs> you'd see, he'd look you over, um, almost smiling. You know what? My name's Timothy. A pleasure to meet you. I'm a servant here at this gala. Very nice to meet you, Timothy. Tell me, uh, uh, what brings you here, Kara? Are you a nobleman? Or, see, they think, are you a diplomat? Oh, I'm a, I'm a diplomat. I'm from ah, the Diplomat Guild. I thought so. Okay, let's play a game. Um, I like are, games. Are you a new hire? Yes. Okay, I can tell you're very young. Usually diplomats are old and crotchety, except that Xander. Um, <laughs> let's see. You have gone on adventures. Uh, I've gone on like I've a little bit of adventuring, not too much though. You will tell me one of these adventures. Okay. Um, well, there was this one kind of dungeon area. Okay. That was like, that's been abandoned for a lot of years. So we were sent in to investigate and look for traps. Okay. And then interesting. when we got there, uh, there was actually a lot of bandits there. So we Ooh. got them arrested. How noble. Apparently, they were trying to do a drug trade or something like that. They're, Nasty. I think it was, I think it was Slack. It was specifically Ugh. the name of the drug. Horrible. So we got them arrested, and then we just checked the place for traps. And that's that's it, really. Um, wow, that was absolutely fascinating. You'll have to tell me about some of these traps you've disarmed. Would you like a drink, Kara? Uh, what kind of drink? Whatever you like. There's alcoholic, there's wine, there's white wine. Uh, there's this fantastic thing called tequila that I heard many people like. 
what would you recommend? I, I'm not really the best versed at the, <laughs> the best afraid, drinks to have at a party. I'm afraid I'm not either. I don't drink. <laughs> as, as much of a party person I am, I, I do not drink. Oh, you're a big party person? Oh, yes, absolutely. I am a hoot, or I would like to think so. Um, shortly, I'll go ahead and perform. Again, as you know, I'm a servant here, so I shall entertain. Oh, I think you'd get along. I've heard the uh, the Prince of Dossi is here, and I've heard they're a big party person. Really? All right. I'm get along with them. Tell me, what have you heard of this Prince of Dacia? Uh, I've heard they're a big party person. Uh, they're they're social. I think they're, I'm pretty sure I've heard they're pretty social. Wow. I heard we'd get along. Oh. I don't know why, but I heard we would get along. Oh, wonderful! I think you two would get along great. You seem like two peas in a pod. Hmm. Do you know where they are? Ah, uh, no, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest clue. You'd see, they'd look about. Hmm. Though I do know that woman over there, and they point over to the woman you spoke to, Shatter. That is essentially their surrogate mother. Oh, I was talking to them earlier. Oh, really? What did they say? Oh, I was just curious who they were and just what why they were just here by themselves, so I decided to help entertain them for a little bit. Hmm. You go to the type that are quiet in the corners? Why is I don't that? like seeing people by themselves. You know, some people are just... It it's sad to see people alone sometimes, you know? I completely agree. I like you, Cora. I think you are a Thank good you. diplomat. Much appreciated. Tell me, have you any secret objectives this evening, as many liaisons do? No, I'm just here to socialize. Really? Yeah, Tell at least that's, that's why I was invited here anyways. Tell me, would you like to talk politics? No, not really. Why not? I mean, it's a party. Why would you talk about politics when it's the time for just having fun? I'll let you in on a little secret here, Kara, and I will whisper this in your ear. Okay. Most people here are idiots. They have oh. been silver spooned all their lives. It's quite oh. a shame. There are few minds here that are captivating, I'd have to say. But if you wish not to talk politics, I shall not talk politics. I am but a lowly servant, so I know not much of politics at all. Yeah, I get that makes sense, I guess. Now, see, they think a moment. Where are you from, Kara? Uh, technically, I'm from the Aether Council. Right, okay. Where in the Aether Council? Uh, not the capital. I I'm from, like, a more village in, like, the mountains. Uh, it's called Deskar. I believe and I've then, heard of that, yes. And then, I guess, for the past few weeks, I've been living here. How wonderful. Why the move? Uh, I mean, I've I've just lived there my entire life. I've needed something new, you know? I've just been stuck in that one town for so long. I've heard Darcy is a nice place to live this time of year. I've never been to Darcy. I, I've wanted to see every country at some point. You know, I wish to say it was in a better state. Oh, what's wrong? From what I've heard from people this evening, the king is debaucherous, corrupt. The people are in need of reassurances, protection, and financial safety. Despite being one of the more wealthy countries, despite, our, despite its size, it, it has been suffering. Which is a right shame. And I hope that changes shortly, nonetheless. Again, here I am, not wanting to talk politics, and I brought it up. Um, but anyway, nonetheless. Um, what was I going to speak 
Have you any questions for myself? I mean, why are you here? You said you're a servant? Well, yes, I am but a servant to the people at this banquet. My name is Timothy. Um, my name, Polly, is Timothy Longbottom. I had been serving the inner sanctum of Centurium for the past three years, and I come from the west side of town. Oh, the west side? Mm-hmm. Where specifically? Um, in an apartment building. I used to work as a clother sewing, um, but due to my courtly mannerisms that I've been able to pick up from books and reading, They've hired me for this event, and I am truly grateful. Wow, that's really impressive. Nice job. I thank you. Tell me, Kara, you don't drink. Um, what, what do you indulge in? What, what is, do you mean? Uh, what is a piece of capera that you might not know what that means? What is a piece of sin that you like to indulge in? Uh, I don't know. Sinning sounds kind of bad. Well, it doesn't have to be. Personally, I try to avoid it. Um, but there's many forms. Sloth, gluttony, you know, pride, envy, that sort of thing. Last, I am sadly a, <laughs> I'm sadly a, um, servant to the latter. But nonetheless, what, uh, what is a sin of yours? Uh, I don't know. I guess if I had to choose one, maybe envy? Really? You're an envious man. You don't seem the type. I'm more just... Just in impressed by so many people and just want to be just as good as them, you know? Why do you think you're not as good? I don't... It's just... They've just done so many impressive things and I guess I'm I'm just me, you know? What's wrong with you? You've stopped bandits, trading slack, stormed I traps mean, in dungeons. I mean, it's still, I'm. There's. It's not just a one-person thing. I I try to do my part, help people, but obviously, some people just contribute more than others, and that's not something you can disagree upon. And then I guess. Some people just, in general, look down on me for my naivete, I, I guess. Hmm. It's just... There, there's a lot to think about. Well, I can't say I know the answer to your problems. Nor I can say what is the best course of action. But what I can speak from is my own experience. For a long time... I felt incapable of achieving what I wish. What you need, and I'm sure you have it, above all else is drive. The drive to do what you wish. And when you find that drive, no matter what is in your way, you will overcome it. I assure you this. And if your drive is to... Well... Doesn't matter what it is, really. Whatever it may be, as long as you have that drive, you will achieve it. I can assure you this, Kara. Well, thank you. That's quite insightful of you, honestly. I would like to think I know things, but I am but a lowly servant. Don't look too down on yourself. Try not to. You wish to catch up more or talk in private sometime? Feel free to walk up to me. I think I like oh. you. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, maybe, since I guess you live here in town, maybe we can hang out at some point. I'm afraid I'm leaving town shortly. I'll stay oh. for the next few days, maybe one or two, but there's another event occurring somewhere far away. Oh, where are you heading? Southwards, to the southern lands. Oh, okay. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, and I guess if we run into each other in town. Of course, where, where, where do you stay, might I ask? Ah, uh, well, recently I've been staying at a local potion shop because I have a friend 
is the owner of it, and so some who's this fact I just stay there. Uh, do you know once? Really? Your eyes widen. You grow to be a far more interesting man by the second. You are friends with once. Yeah. That is fantastic. I love that. I'd love to. I'd love to come by and say hello. I'd love to meet the man in person. Sure, he's a nice guy. I've heard, I've heard there's like a lot of rumors about him, but in, from what I've seen, he's and a there, very good person. And there are many rumors about the Prince of Darcia, but I'm sure none of them are true. Um, nonetheless, it was a pleasure meeting you, Kara. I pleasure meeting you too. Seek you to indulge in conversation with others, and. And if you need me, I'll be about. All right. It was nice meeting you, Timothy. <laughs> it was a nice meeting you too, Tara. See, he'd walk off. Okay. All right. That, I would say, um, is there any more people that you would have now unlocked? So there's still the Admiral looking for a way out. There's now the farmers that seem quite upset. There's also a, um, a rather large man in maybe his 70s from the looks of it um, with binoculars on a stick as he's looking about the gala. He's next to the buffet table and he is stuffing his face. There's still that man in the corner, quiet, unamused with the entirety of the situation, but he's actually now looking at you. A little surprised. Um, but... Other than that, you're free to go about as you'd like. Who would you head to next? I'd head to the person who's been alone in the corner for this whole time. You'd walk up to him. Hey. Nice to meet you, kid. What's your name? Uh, I'm Kara. I saw you've been here by yourself, so I wanted to come give you some company for some time. Thanks. I appreciate it. Why are you here? Uh, I'm just I'm just a diplomat, so I'm here to, you know, socialize, get to know people. Mm, so you're Xander's kid. Yeah, actually. How'd you know? I know him well. I knew your parents. To a degree. You did? Yes. It's been some time. Mm. Your mother, she played piano, yes? I'm, I'm going to be honest, I, I lack most memories from my childhood, but I do remember piano. I'm sorry to hear that, Sam. You see Ling's back thing. Huh. I can't remember quite well. Nonetheless, a pleasure to meet you, Carl. If you If you happen to remember anything about my parents specifically, do you mind telling? Of course, Sam. I remember your mom better than your dad, if I'm honest. I, I don't know why. Mom, or say your dad, you're a musician and a, a famous one? I don't know. Um, something like that. Famous musician, okay. Yeah. Is there an accident? Something... Yeah. Something happened. Sorry for whatever it was. Well, I, I don't seem to remember what happened either, so... I don't, I don't know. It's been... Some time ago now. How many years was it? Over uh, a decade. Yeah, over a decade at this point. My apologies for not remembering, so... It's fine. Don't worry about it. I know for certain they were kind people. Tell me. I was speaking to the Prince of Darcia. Huh? The Prince of Darcia. The man that you I just spoke to? No, that was Timothy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? He'd wipe tears from his eyes. Timothy. Timothy's what he told you. Uh, he's a... He's a funny one, that one. Wait, no, wait, was that actually... He was, he was... that. What other albino do you see in this courtroom? 
Brother man dressed in mosaic and a gold necklace, for goodness sake. A plate gold necklace at that. That was the Prince of Dacia. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have noticed that. It's all right. Clearly he was having fun with you. Did it go well? I mean, we had a nice conversation. Good. There's something. <sighs> I hate this. What's wrong with this? This gala. I hate wastes of money. This could be What's spent so... on so much more. I guess, yeah. It could be used to help people. But there's, I guess, some things we can't control. I suppose I've been keeping good to my promise. Tell me, are you from here? Um, I mean, I've been staying in the city for a few weeks, but I, I'm not technically from here now. I don't believe I introduced myself. Uh, no, I, I actually don't know your name yet. <laughs> my name is Brish Kavara. I'm the mayor. Oh. oh. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. I didn't know I was speaking to the mayor. <laughs> well... I try to remain inconspicuous. Well, uh, I guess you succeeded. <laughs> what do you think of my town? Uh, I think your town's nice, but I think there's still some aspects that can be fixed. He'd look almost sad. Look at his feet. It's deeply flawed. Deeply. I know that. I've done everything I could of all else to protect the country, this city. Countless guard hires, countless warships. And almost every person a job. But it doesn't feel right. There's good programs, there's the assisted living system. Orphanages, schools. People are stuck. And popping up more and more recently. Whether it be because of the Lady of the Night or the city's own inadequacies. Not sure. Well, I say. Listen, I, I can't act like I know as much as you do with everything, but just make sure to think of just everyone and how you can make everything as nice as possible so everyone can live happily. The bigger picture, you know? Gives you a nod. Tell me, Carl, what would you do? For the country that needs protection, would you tax as many people as you could to ensure they are safe? Would you tax them less, leaving them more vulnerable? Well, yeah. both are important, both protection, but also granting people the freedom and the money they need. So you need to find that middle ground. Exactly. And you need to be more, I guess, honest with your intentions, I guess. So maybe they can help out, they can help make the nation or town even stronger. It's hard to do one thing all by yourself. Tell me about it. <laughs> I wish I had a bigger team. But my main man is currently stuck in the buffet. He'd <laughs> point over. That's the head secretary. Ah. Oh. And my admiral doesn't even look like he wants to be here either. He looks like he's been trying to get out this entire time. Just to... I mean, if he, if he wants to leave, what's stopping him? Even though he's the most prestigious, won countless battles and he thinks he's not good enough for the position. Imagine that. 
He's skilled in engineering. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. But he doesn't think he fits the role. Funny, isn't it? Even the most capable people don't want to lead. I guess that's quite interesting to think about. Yeah. I would say at this point, Xander would walk up. Your know, mashup? Hey, Xander. I hope my surrogate son here has been doing all right. Yeah, he's made an impression. That's for sure. A good one, I hope. Eh, good enough. See, so he'd stand. How much longer is this thing supposed to go on for Xander? I would say about 15 more minutes, sir. Good. I'm gonna drown myself in liquor so I can forget all this. Wander off. See Xander would approach. Take care, Kara says as they walk away to drown their <laughs> sorrows. <laughs> that man is all business and no pleasure. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Well, from what I heard, you've talked with the Prince of Dacia. How was it? Well, it was nice. I didn't even know they were the Prince of Dacia. I, un, they even lied about their name. I didn't learn until I was talking with the mayor, actually. It was the prince. He's a jester, that one. And a trickster. Be careful around him. They seemed quite nice. Kindness can be deceiving. I hear he plots murder. I feel like you shouldn't take rumors unless you can confirm them yourself. You're very right, Kara. You're very right. Well, this evening is coming to a close. I suggest you find one last person to speak to, and we'll be all heading out for the evening. Be sure to give ATU a report that everything has occurred, what you've learned, what you've not learned. And... How about you and I go out and get something to drink tomorrow morning? Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Good luck. Thank you. That. You get one more person, Kara. Who are you choosing? What are the options? So, everyone you've already spoken to, plus... The head secretary is now with the mayor at the buffet. Um, there is still the admiral. There's still the farmers. Um, and there's ATU. Uh, there's Shatter. There's the Prince of Dacia. Um, there's even the guy with the um, AR headset situation. Um, but who are you going for? God, about the headset guy. I want to go talk to the headset guy. All right, that's your last person. All right, you'd approach him. Um, you'd see he looks a little out of place. He has walked up to a couple people trying to show it off and they'd refuse. Um, but he sees you approach and you'd see his eyes light up. Kara, was it? Yes? Yeah, uh, you wanted to show me your invention? Oh yes, please. You'd immediately um, begin to take it off his back. Um, put this backpack on. It's okay. a bit heavy. Very heavy. Roll me athletics. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, what happens to my nat one? Do I just crash through the floor? <laughs> so you do, you do fall. Um, and I'm gonna roll a save from Fredericks. Try it. Oh, they. Ah, oh, he catches you. Uh, it was more so a death save. Okay. But he would catch you. Uh, and you'd see it's more so saving the device than you in this matter <laughs> instance. But nonetheless, you cushioned the fall. Are you all right? Yeah, I was just a little heavier than expected. I'm sorry. I should really put a, um, a sign labeling its weight. Anyway, um, so all you need to do is put this head on and you'll be entering an augmented reality. What does that mean? Um, imagine the reality you're in now 
slightly changed. Like, I can put a flower pot somewhere in the room for you to find. A little, uh, like, game device. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Right. I'll, I want to see. Very well. Um, you'd see he immediately begin to turn the dials. Um, I've already calibrated it to be the size of the room, the augmented reality. Um, so, um, what game would you like to play? Would you like to play kind of a game of hide and seek? Um, would you like to play a game, kind of a, a shoot 'em up with a crossbow shooting enemies in the sky? Um, perhaps, perhaps you'd like to play a dancing game. What, what, what would you prefer? It's whatever you'd like. I'm not sure if I'm the best dancer, so probably not that one. Okay. I should probably practice my aim a little bit, so I'll, I'll do the, the shooting one. All right. By all means, go for it. All right. All right. I need you uh, to roll me straight decks. As you would see a number of these kind of beholders with wings flying around the room. You'd shoot them with a crossbow. You don't, do the, you don't do the best. Again, this is the first augmented reality experience with Kara. Um, it's a little jarring. Um, and you'd have to get used to the controls, but it's fun. Nonetheless, um, as you're playing it, some people would begin to look about questioning, like, what the hell is he doing? I have no idea. Um, but after about 10 minutes, uh, you would see a flashing low power. Let's say, I'm sorry, the battery's running out. I'm afraid that's it. Was it enjoyable? Oh yeah, it was. It was really cool. I think with just a little bit more work, I think it can be a really good product. Thank you so much. That's what I needed to hear. I'm the executive. Thank you so much. No problem. Very quickly, rush off. To you would approach you. I'm afraid it is time for us to depart. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I guess this is the end. You sound almost grim with such a statement. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, kind of does. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Very well. I will escort you back to Once's immediately. Thank you. That will begin to take you back. Leaving the hall, party people. There'd be people still partying um, at the gala, but it's kind of that time people begin to trickle out of a party. So that's what would be occurring. I would say you would walk out into the dark night. Um, the moonlight. Actually, is it moonlight? Let me double check. Let me look at the calendar. I don't believe it is. Oh, it doesn't matter. I would say it's moonlight. Um, it is It is bright. It's maybe around, I would say, 1030. So it was a two hour and 30 minute event. Long story short. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to, to you as you're walking back? She'd be relatively quiet. You didn't tell me Mr. Xander was going to be here. I wasn't aware myself. Huh. I thought he would have informed if he was coming, but I guess surprise. I believe it was surprise for himself as well that he made it on time. <laughs> I guess he probably didn't want to promise if he wouldn't, if he, because if he wasn't able to make it, then probably would have been disappointing. So I, I guess I understand his point of view. I would assume so. The event was well for you. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Good. See, she'd pull out some papers. Please fill these out. Please fill out the fact of who you spoke to, what you spoke to them about, how the conversation went, their mannerisms, and what you learned from the experience. That's a lot of writing. Consider it homework. It is due by the end of the week. Ah. Uh... And okay. you don't have to give it to me by the end of the week. Give it to me at your earliest convenience. All right, all right. I'll do it. 
continue to walk you to the place. And I would say, um, you guys are playing in Osku. You'd hear footsteps approaching from outside. If once his map would load for me. Oh, there it is. What would you do? Uh, I'm on this. I finally have a token here. Osku uh, so makes her way to the front door. As you make your way to the front door, Kara, you would go to knock. Knock, knock. Ah, good evening, Kara. Good evening to you, too. Good evening, Asku. Good evening to you. I assume the color went well, correct? Yes. It was a lot of fun. Rest well, Kara. I must head back to the Diplomacy Guild. All right, take care. Walk back safely. I will. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would say everyone upstairs would hear the door open from downstairs. Sounds like Kara's back. Also, I don't see Asku's token. <laughs> I'll replace it. <laughs> I just see the voice. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Osco. Invisibility wore off, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the others are upstairs. Wincy's sleeping downstairs. Oh, then let's not wake him. Oh, anything interesting happened at Zigala? Oh, uh, well, I was surprised. Mr. Xander's actually visiting in town. I was going to see if you guys wanted to join me in joining him for drinks tomorrow morning. Wait, I thought that you said they were working in the Grove, was it? Well, no, then he went to the Plutocracy, and now he's here, which is, I didn't know until I literally saw him while I was there. Hmm. You know, we're going upstairs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be interesting to meet them. However, I do not quite drink. Well, that's fine. You don't need to. It's just arriving there and hanging out, you know. Uh, so where are the others right now? Are they in here? Knock, knock. Don't come Hello. in! Uh, uh, oh, okay. I'm joking. You can come in. No one's naked. Why would we? Why be... would I didn't say we were, Lyra? Because you said uh, don't come in, and that has implications. I could say we were that busy. Immediately mean mm. that. <laughs> All naked. right. As you see, Kara, we are alive as well, and just as insufferable. How did it go? You one, you guys are insufferable. Don't say I'm that. Joking. Two, what? Two, it went well. Oh. Uh, are you guys free tomorrow morning? By the way. I'm as free as a feather. What for? Oh, uh, well, I was actually surprised. Mr. Xander's actually in town visiting. Oh. And he is meeting, wants to meet me for drinks tomorrow morning. So I wanted, and he wanted to also meet you guys. So I thought it could be, you know, a two for one kind of deal. Um, uh, I could disguise self and meet him for drinks. Mm. Will that end well? It will end better than me going for drinks. What is this man's definition of drinks? Does he mean coffee? I'm going to assume probably coffee. Because it's, it's going to be in the morning, so I, I, he's not a wake up and start chugging alcohol kind of person, you know? You never know. Also, how is the event? Would you talk to? Oh. Did you eat any fancy food? Car then remembers. Car did not eat anything while there. Yeah, the car's probably hungry. <laughs> I never oh. ate, actually. I was busy. Who? Vithy. Oh. Oh, the Prince of Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, so I completely forgot uh, all the descriptions you gave me <laughs> about him <laughs> and what he looked like. So the whole time I was talking, hands. 
<laughs> so the whole time I was talking to him, I thought his name was Timothy. No. No, Clara. Oh. I didn't learn who they actually were until I was talking to the mayor. Uh, perhaps you should write some of the things down to help you remember. I it did. It's just, I'm not the most perceptive person. Mm. Was he flirting with you? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, what you're saying is still possible. With? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, Clara, did he ask to see you again? Oh, yeah. Liram shoots Aaliyah a look. <laughs> What's wrong? It sounds like you had a fun time. And that's good. Yeah, there are a lot of neat people there. If he I asked to see you again, it's clear he liked you. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad <laughs> to hear that. Well, anyways, um, do you guys have food? I'm like really hungry. I made some cookies, but I was actually going to remake them because also, um, we had a dinner and I think there's some still in the kitchen. We do have leftovers. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, food. <laughs> Ooh, I closed oh, the door. Sorry. It's fine. Are you go Ask Google. Ask Google. <laughs> Ask Google looking at Aaliyah. Uh-huh. Looks like Lyra never left the house. Oh no, he came back. She Roll get up. deception at disadvantage. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She gets up and pats him on the shoulder. Not my fault, you can't tell. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Let's make sure that Kara eats. Yeah. I, I eat the food. Thank you for eating the food. Right. Stuff your face. Or you would say, it's rather late, but we're not all here to bed. I'm quite tired. I'm sure Kara is as well. I'll probably rest soon. Yeah, I guess rest is a good idea. You all know me. I'm always so sleepy. Hmm. Oh, good dear. That was sarcastic, I think. Was that sarcastic? It was. All right. It was. I'm what? going to steal. Ah, no, Kara, you did just have a big event. Go ahead and steal the vet bed down the hall. You sure? Yeah, you deserve it. It was a big night for you. Can't you two share? It's a larger bed. No, it's small. What are you talking oh, about? Is it small? It's one it person. Small. No, it's a one person uh, bed. One yeah, that is definitely a one person bed. What am I thinking of? Not sure. Oh. It can fit two people, to be clear. Right. Just tight. Do you know from experience? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to sleep in oh the god. dining room with <laughs> oh this my bedroom. <laughs> that was a good talk, Kara. Mm. Wait, I was just asking a question. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, it's, you did nothing no. wrong. You did nothing wrong. Do you remember what? when what? once gave me the knockout drugs? Yeah. I knocked out in there, and so did someone else knock out rather on top of me. Oh, so leave. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I knew you two were both knocked out at some point, so I'm we just were. assuming... Unless there's a, another unknown party I'm unsure about. Oh, oh, you say, this is getting incredibly uncomfortable. Can we all please pretend to sleep if need be? Okay. Mm. Right. I'm going to bake more. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, oh god, I'm in trouble. I see his token moving him. towards me. Yes. She'll shake her head now. Leave it for now, please. Ask we nod. Thank you. What is Lyrum doing right now? They're baking cookies. Rather frantically. Lyrum, do you need help with that? 
Uh, my hands are a bit shaky right now, but I would, I would actually really appreciate that. Ask who's helping, Cook. Do you both roll survival or just one of you at advantage? Let's both do it. This is a group effort. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank God. This isn't going to end well for me. Nice. That's not hey. bad. That's not bad, guys. Better, oh. better than the first batch in quality uh, and less on the floor. Um, in the <laughs> shape of none. I would say um, you would kind of do super chewy with some sea salt on top. Oh my God. Are they toffee cookies? Kind of, yeah. Oh. Um, they're real they're 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 pretty good they're pretty good so yeah conversations before you all rest pretend to rest and guard <laughs> Liram would look to Oscar I didn't say anything specific at all I said it as a group that at one point all of us faced death that's it I promised thank you for at least Keeping that secret a bit more hidden. I wasn't going to spill. I get it. There was also another thing I was... wondering if you knew. What do you know about... dialectories? Or however you pronounce it? I know... Um... Very little about them. Roll me Arcana, Hiram. Okay. Do I get any heritage bonus? Mm. Ooh. Oh. Oh, come on. I know this, though. I would come on. So, here's what I'll say. Like, because there's it is no from, way they don't know. Because it is from your mother's side, I will say this. Your mother would inform you that your bloodline came from a very very, very bad woman who you should not look into in the slightest. She forbid you of it. She forbid you from looking into lichdom of any sort, but nonetheless, you are aware of what a phylactery is. It's something that is used to store one's soul. You don't know anything of the process. You don't know anything of the upkeep. Um, but you know it is used to extend one's life. You know base information. Okay. You don't know nothing, but you know the base. Um, I don't know a great deal, though I do know basics. I Do you know what yours is? Do you know where yours is? Really, the main thing that could let me know is that during the process, it felt like my very soul was being pulled out of my body and into my armor. Going to say, could it just be your armor? Because currently, that is the only thing housing your soul. And it seems to be connected to it. That's why healing magic actually works on you, rather buffs out scratches in your armor. That is what makes the most sense. Think so? I've still been thinking over the years about my decision to allow that necromancer to experiment on me. Fear makes us do odd things. Fear makes us desperate. And I cannot fault you. I can't.
we we know that Leah apparently came back from death and somehow so did Kara. So there is a chance that they would not want me to if they knew my secret. I know Aaliyah wouldn't give a shit. I think Kara would be confused. But he's smart. There's a lot he doesn't understand. He's not world-wise. I'm not world-wise. But he's a smart person. And with enough explanation, I think he'll be fine with it too. Because he likes you. And he knows you're not evil. He knows you're not some monster. I just spent all these years hiding it because I knew that there would be people that would just see me as one. You're not. I'm people just... People can think whatever they want. It doesn't make it true. I'm just worried about how Arya and once might see it. Do you think... Do you think they would be scared? Once isn't in any position to pass judgment. And that's in no offense to him. He just doesn't pass judgment. Simply put, I think he'd be more interested in your inner mechanisms than anything else. In the arcane aspects of it. Simple curiosity. But he owes you too much to be scared or maddened by it. And as for Arya, while she seems to enjoy surface level things, while she enjoys beauty, while she enjoys pretty people and pretty faces and performative aspects of everything, of life, she cares about the person inside. Above everything else. She's a good person. And she sees you. Not whatever that necromancer did to you. Don't be worried. Hey. Perhaps sometime down the line, I will be able to tell them. I just do not know when is the right time. Take off your helmet a moment. Asku does. You see a skeletal face. Green eyes glowing at you. Don't you dare ever tell anyone I did this. And they would stand on their tiptoes and take either side of the bony face in their hands and kiss his forehead. You are good. Anyone who thinks otherwise is a prick. Thank you, Lyrum. It's no problem, and like I said, if, if, if you tell anyone that I did that, I will kill you. Again. Okay, okay. You will you be double dead, what... and no one wants to see that. Yes, and you also know what my phylactery is, so... You can be sure of that. I Good. can keep a secret. I have kept <laughs> one for decades. <laughs> I guess that's true. Thank you. That is pretty much it. I can't Sorry really... that you can't eat these cookies. I was about to say I can't really tell how they taste, but they smell good at least. Did you know that taste is actually mainly olfactory? And how exactly would I learn that? 
Fair point. <laughs> but taste is mainly olfactory. <laughs> as you discuss cookies and tastes and smells we're gonna take a 10 minute break okay. you would all fall asleep or stay awake at 1am Oscar something would occur god damn it you would see by the front door there would sound like multiple people, around six or seven, would be walking around the building. They'd stop at the front door, and you would see a letter would be slipped underneath, and then they'd keep walking. Oscar will walk up to the front door. Is the letter an envelope? It is. And you would see um, bold letters. You would write two. It would seem to be two once. What do you do? Is there a map? Uh, yeah. Zerim would be up, yes. <laughs> Aaliyah, where are you sleeping? Are you sleeping in the hall there? Yeah, she passed out sitting against the wall. <laughs> okay. Make your way past Aaliyah. I'm not doing hopscotch with their body. No, you're just stepping over. Uh, Zerim? Mm-hmm. Asku would hold up the um, envelope with the two ones on the front of it. It appears some group of people want this to be shown to once. No, I had a view directly out of this window and dark vision. What did I see? You saw six or seven... Um, Black suit men of varying ages, some with missing fingers, some with eye patches, one with a strange backpack device walking with them. She walked around, they walked around, um, and they seemed to have walked with purpose. How long ago was that delivered? Well, just not even a minute ago. Fuck. Plutocracy types. A group of them. Is, is this the kind of letter we should open up, or...? Yes. Because Ask one take. said he was from the plutocracy. Asku takes a finger and just opens up the top part of the envelope carefully. Do so. Nothing would occur. Spell inside. Nothing. Take out the letter. The letter is like something you've never seen before. The writing is perfect. You've heard of such devices called a typewriter, Theorem. Mm -hmm. I would say this is definitely what this is from would read dear once though i know you have your regrets though i know you have your anger we know that it drives you we from the welders understand your plight we have lost eyes Fingers, noses, toes, arms, feet from our work. Whether by accident or by intention from those above us. We beseech you to not follow this path you are on. Revenge is a dangerous thing. The men you face are beyond powerful. 
This is not us trying to dissuade you. This is a warning from men that are like you. Do not anger those who can easily tear down your life with care. And you would see several names written on it. And if Kara regaled you of the tale of his evening, you would also see two specific names, Derek Smith and Jacob Fredericks, among others. the very least, I am glad that it is not a threat. But is the contents of this letter are still it had worrying? It's bullshit. How so? It's called a manipulation, Oscar. I don't see how telling a man to stop improving his life and go back to the tatters he was in before. Or else what? Other people will send him back? At least he didn't go back by his own volition. Fuck that. They don't know him or his plight. They're far removed from it. They just want him to stop. The point is, he goes back now, he ends up in the same place as if he keeps going, and if that one is legitimate. Or warning, rather. It's, it's the same thing. The same end point. But if he keeps going, at least that end point isn't guaranteed. How much do we actually know of... once his future goals. Of course, I am glad that he has this now, but... Revenge is being successful. His shop is called The Bigger, Better, Benefactor. He wants to be better and give more back than anyone else has done. He hires disabled people to give back. Do I agree with capitalistic philosophies? No, I don't, but at least he's trying. And how I know he's ten times better than any of those other people would ever be. Any! of the people who had the audacity to write him this letter. When I asked him to dispose of my blood, he agreed. No one else would have. Hmm. Do you still think, do you think that you should at least know of his letter? He deserves to read it. I don't That's think it'll true. stop him. And it shouldn't. Does that make sense? So is Elia still out there? <laughs> is Elia what? Is Alia still out there? Yes, I had to make sure not to step on her when walking up. Oh god, they shoulder past you for a moment. I sleep, conked out. Were they not supposed to sleep in this location? Oh, are there any spare blankets or pillows? A plethora. Okay. <laughs> Liram would grab some. Easily done. Place them upon her. I would say she'd still be sleeping soundly. Thank God. <laughs> um, thank you for letting me know, Oscar. I appreciate it. 
Well, something happened. I feel like you sh should at least know what happened in the shop. Thank you. Tell once in the morning. You say that like I don't plan to already. Oh, ha ha, you're always one step ahead of me. Be sure to get some rest when you can. I already did. I stare at a wall for four hours and I feel fantastic. <laughs> but do you rest as well? I'll rest after my guard duty is done. So not at all. I get to rest when I can. I'm watching you, Oscar. Oh, and how are you going to tell them asleep under all this armor? <laughs> I have my ways. Alright. With that, you'd head back to watch. Liram, you would head back to smelling fresh baked biscuits. Sniff, sniff. Aaliyah. You have yeah. a dream. Yeah. You are in a black void. And there is yourself. But in this void, you feel as though you're being watched by three figures. You cannot see them, but you know they are there. Their vision is expansive. Enlightening. But you remain in the dark. Before you would be a mirror. You would see it is facing away from you, but somehow you still know it's a mirror. What do you do? Real, real quick, I'm trying to get the image in my head. Where are the three figures located? You don't know. Oh, I, okay, I just know they're there. You feel three figures watching you. You know their vision is all-knowing, but yet you remain in the dark. Yeah. You um, know there is a mirror in front of you, and you yeah. see it as such, but even though it is facing away, you're still able to tell it's a mirror. Hello? She'd reach out and touch like the back of the mirror okay. you would see just from the lightest touch it looks like it's floating almost as though it is in a zero gravity space it would begin to spin slightly yeah. as it does so you would begin to see the reflection. As it turns, you would see a reflection that's not your own. You would see someone else's, someone that you don't recognize. They're hooded. They wear fine clothing. And they have a almost like electric guitar on their back their head is bulbous and you would see something writhing underneath the hood you blink for a moment and you see a different figure you would see a beautiful woman naked Though she has no genitalia. She's in the sh she has the shape. Her hair long, white. Her skin is pale as a canvas. Her hands have mouths. Long and sharp. Though you can't see her face. But you can feel she's staring at you. <laughs> You blink again, and you see a child. 
No. No. They are facing away from you. But you're able to see something's in their shirt. Writhing. Or snakes, maybe? Eels? But it comes apparent. When one of these writhing forms would slip up from his collar, and you would see a long pseudopod with an eye at the end, green, would blink at you. The boy's head would turn towards you, and you would see like the mouth of a piranha. The mouth itself takes up half the head, one giant bulbous eye, flashing green in various colors. It is intimidating. But you blink and they're gone. And lastly, you see a scared man facing away, curled hair gaunt, pulling at his hair. A lab coat. A familiar man. You know it is the back of Riglan Ocular. And you can hear him whispering, Stop watching me. Stop watching me. Stop watching me. Over and over. And you blink again, and finally, you see yourself. And you would finally be able to see the outline of the three figures behind you. One is like that of a giant fish floating through the air. You would see it has maybe four, five red glowing eyes as it swims around you. Another floating is more humanoid, though its head is like that of an octopus, the two red eyes staring at you. Lastly, one large round form with nine eyes, eight on tendrils and one giant in the center would stare at you. They were, are watching you, almost as though they're expecting something from you. What do you do? Um, feeling fairly defensive, she'd probably try and call in her echo out of instinct. And so, you would call it, but you would see it would appear in the mirror. You would see immediately the three figures would begin to examine the echo. Looking it over, the echo, not willing, proceeds to attempt to fight back, but is an unable. I dismiss her, fuck. <laughs> you would see they would form back and pretty much fade from this dark void, and the three figures in the mirror would begin to approach it, looking at you upset. And then you wake up. <gasps> And it is morning. Uh huh. With that. Mm. Okay. How are you guys spending your morning? Awake. Awake. Uh, I would say Arya would attempt to make breakfast with Lyrum. I want to try. Hey. I'm going to attempt to make bacon, eggs, and toast. Will you help me? I will help you. It's okay. You did pretty good. I'm proud of you. Also, Emma, I'm... Oh, this morning. I would say you would definitely wake up, Emma. Mm -hmm. You feel a lot more sluggish. Okay. Um, that. 
so sorry. Damien would come in for work. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Put it up the shop. Good morning, Damien. Your guard shift over? That it is. You know if we got any special guests coming today? It was a big night yesterday, and there's some big people in town. Hey, Kara um... went, right? Yes, Kara went. I do not know about any special guests, but... Once did get your letter. Oh, from who? Another big shot? I am... Um... Not quite sure. <laughs> they just put this under the doorway. Well, if you want, I can give it to him. He is just in the basement right now, right? Yeah, he's probably brewing potions, knowing him. Do you want to go tell him yourself? Okay, you're walking towards there. Gotcha. I will just deliver this myself. Alrighty. Okay. Downstairs. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do upstairs? I see Kara coming out of bed. Aaliyah, you would stand up slowly. Yeah. Well, uh, you are you guys ready to go get drinks this morning? Good morning, Kara. Um, not now. Be well. Yes, I'm ready to get drinks. But um, separate point. Um, I did make salted toffee cookies, but don't eat them now. I don't want to spoil your breakfast. Arya made a lovely breakfast. I made eggs. With toast and bacon. Oh, that sounds so good. Next, we just need beans. <laughs> Sausage. Hmm. I like the sound of beans. You eat beans with breakfast? I do, yes. On occasion, beans on toast. I've never done that in my life. You should give it a That's, try. It sounds so cool. Right. <laughs> Lear walks away. Ilya breakfast. Kind of looks at the blanket in confusion while she's standing up. Um, Liram would look and then try to ignore it. Uh, food. Not feeling too hungry right now. I'll be there in a moment. Every time we make toast, something goes wrong. It's not. It's nothing's wrong, Liram. Just a. Oh, hi, buck. buddy. See, they'd form. Mm, she'd look at it like, not now. See, it looks at you almost confused. You'd feel the feeling of confusion, frustration. Um, and then it would show you the image of seeing you through a mirror. I, I'm sorry. It was an instinct. It was a dream. I didn't think it would put you in danger. She would shake its head no. What? Steve just... would appear almost, almost frustrated for the lack of its inability to communicate. I'm sorry, I can't think straight right now. Give me a moment, okay? Um. You'd see it would... Um. Almost hesitantly point to where you keep your slack. Mm-hmm. She looks at Lear. <laughs> um, Lyra. Mm -hmm. I need that bottle that you carry. Mm -hmm. Why? Noah, if she like has her hand against her neck, can she feel her pulse? Yes. How's it doing? <laughs> Slow. Uh-huh. She'll reach, she'll grab Lyrum's hand and put it against her wrist. 
Feel the beat is slow. Okay. I'm not immune to falling back into it. I need slack now. If I'd we're rather... trying to if we're trying to wean you off, can we at least give you some diluted dose? Liram, if I don't have it, you might die. I need it, please. Okay. Hey. I'd rather have the vial. I think it's more potent at the moment at least. They'd reach into the pouch at their side and hand it over. You would do so. It's gonna shoulder pass and head towards the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Let's see, here I would follow. Slip under the door. Should down it. Immediately. Your whole body is in this rush for the next minute. You feel like you could break everything in this room. And you know you could. Your mind is running a mile a minute. And when that minute's gone, it is like a weight is off your shoulders. You feel your heart pumping fast. You feel your muscles just alive. Um, and you immediately color flows back into you before you were much more pale and probably um, your fingertips were darker but now you are probably for the first time for anyone's ever seen you this is the most alive you've ever looked you are practically glowing <laughs> Yeah, she'll step out. Thank you. It just nod. Mm. Are you guys coming to eat? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of my beans on toast. You didn't make beans, love. Really good. Wish I did. We can just imagine the beans are there. It's fine. It's not good enough, Kara. No, it's great. Don't say Bacon, that. The eggs and the toast are fantastic. Oh, wow. Aaliyah, hmm. you look great. Did you get good some sleep. beauty sleep or something? A good sleep. Apparently well needed. <laughs> indeed. Well needed indeed. Where's Oscar? That man needs to eat eventually. Let's see. She'd head down, but Asku, you are downstairs. Actually, I think this is the first time you've been down here in a while. You're the only person's only token that has is now on this map hidden. So let me go ahead and put you down. Think. Um, how do I switch over to that map? I will pull you over because I'm a fool and I haven't done so already. Uh huh. You'd be pulled over. It's the first time you've been down here. Quiet. Once is everything okay? Completely silent. Lights are magical down here. I'm sure these doors, they say you would be in one big metal one. To your two to your left, one to your right. Asku would try knocking the first on the first door that they come across. No response. This is the metal one. You mm -hmm. dum dum dum. And so it opens. Hello. Good to see Good you, Asku. Good morning to you. How was guard duty? It was relaxing, but. There was one thing that occurred. By all means. Someone spit on the window. No, probably a bit more exciting than that. He would pull out the letter, the envelope already opened. Someone mm -hmm. slipped, some group of people slipped this under the front door. 
I assume you checked it for my safety. Yes, me and Liren. I appreciate that for both of you. Again, I would not be here if it weren't for you. I want for all of you. I'm deeply grateful. Let me read this. Let's see. Ask you. Oh, go ahead. Ask you just leans against the wall as he reads. He as he reads it. Eyes would turn blue and he'd begin to laugh. <laughs> oh how funny. Begin to walk. Open this door. He had two furnaces. And he'd just chuck it in the fire. Ah. All right. Time to start the day. Was there anything yes. else? Did not much else happen last night? Was everything okay with the contents of that letter? <laughs> yes. Well, in any case, it it is time to start the day, is it? Exactly. I hope you get some sleep soon. Working all night like this. Yes, I really should. Yeah, the two of you would head on up. Ah. And I would say as you head up, though I do not have a token for them, let me close my door real quick. Though I do not have a token for them, there would be a Swift knock on the door, the door front door would open. You would see a fairly handsome man. He has blonde hair to his shoulders, a little past it. He stands to be 5'10, poofy white shirt. He has uh, earrings, um, colorful overcoat with greens and red diamonds. And he looks seemingly to be a cherry person. Hello, excuse me if I may talk to Kara if he is here. And his associates. Look, and who would you be? My name is Xander. Xander Vortless. Seems this is our man, Oscar. Feel free to get the others. That I would. What are you guys doing upstairs as this is occurring? Food. Eating Just sitting coming. silently, yeah. Oscar. No eat. <laughs> you would walk on in. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, Good morning. Morning. I know this is a bit of a shock, but it appears there is someone at the front door asking for Kara and his associates. Oh, fuck. Who? Oscar gives a general description of, like, blonde hair. What color were his eyes? What is he wearing? Uh, his eyes are green. Kara's already heading downstairs. <laughs> what? Kara, is, Kara is everything okay? We haven't even finished breakfast. Kara's just too excited. Kara's heading downstairs. You make Aaron breakfast? Disguise self. Um, just a long, uh, red-haired elf man, shorter than he is. Okay. Are you coming? Mm. I'd prefer not to. We'll I sniff you it. out if you don't. <laughs> I have a question. As it's technically another day, who's holding out mixes? Not Lyrum. How cursed would it be if we gave it to Arya? Ah. Arya's turn with the knife. Arya's turn with the knife. Um, she would have chose the pen. Okay. She has a little pen necklace. Oh no, she's gonna eat me. 
<laughs> no, she's going to eat us. All right. So it sounds like you'd all head downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry again. I don't have a to token for him yet, but I will make some pixel art soon. Um, oh, no. Oops. Let me correct you all. Get off right Damien. Place. Get off Damien. Not Damien. Damien, my beloved. Um, okay. You would see once and this Xander figure in conversation. Um, immediately, Xander's eyes would turn towards you. Why, hello, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You're yeah, here. Sure. Of course I'm pleasure? here, Kara. I make good on my promises, don't I? Yeah, I, I, I did, actually, I, we didn't really plan where we were going to meet this morning, so, you know, good thing you came here. <laughs> little birdie told me you were staying here, and by little birdie, I mean you. You recall your letters. Oh, true. You know what? That makes sense. No problem. Well, I can deduce you must be Arya, you must be Oscu, you must be Aaliyah, but I don't see the one you described as Lyrum. Oh. Uh. Who is this fine fellow with red locks? Car is going to be briefly confused and be like, oh, that's Lyrum. <laughs> this guy is Lyrum. Ah, I see. Hiding your identity. Mm. Mm. I'm what? sorry. Are you not no, hiding he... your identity currently? Why else would you be disguised? Perhaps I'm just shy. <laughs> Perhaps indeed. I had not thought of that. No matter what, if you wish to remain as you are, you are more than welcome to. Uh, I, you are. Okay, by all means. I would like to subtle cast detect magic. Um, you detect nothing on this man. His vibe is rancid. I don't trust that. <laughs> um, no magic at all. And Leo's kind of shifted in front of Lyrum, but... <laughs> oh, don't mm. worry, I don't fight. In fact, I don't really do anything of it all, but talk. He's a very kind guy. If you get to know I'd him. like to think so. Now, where would you all like to drink? Um, preferably here. Yeah. I would love to dine in such a fine establishment. Tell me once, what's your finest potion? Um, my finest potion? Uh, <laughs> you'd see once gets a little nervous. Uh, give me uh, a few moments. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it for you. By all means, there's no rush. I have till twelve. All right. Two, one. Rush downstairs. Well, what would you all like to have to drink? Water. Same. Ah, nature's blessing. Such a great thing, isn't it? Simple and pure. I enjoy it myself, but I think I could use some coffee. I'll also have coffee. A wise decision. Shall we head upstairs? Yeah. Right. Is once okay with this man that just kind of got <laughs> into their shop? Yeah, once is like, uh, I mean, he. here's the thing. If you guys are friends with him, he will, he's more okay with it. More than okay. But you'd all plop down. So the uh, seating yeah. arrangement would be a little bit like this. Yeah. <laughs> you go ahead. Put down. This is, this is the standard seating. This is the standard Lirum. arrangement. Lirum. Lirum. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Lirum. Switch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm like, we need to switch. We need to switch now. <laughs> standard seating type B. I will be completely transparent with you all. I am well aware of the situation with you. Again, but you can trust me. It is my utmost vow as the head diplomat of the diplomat Diplomacy Guild that I am to remain completely neutral in world affairs. I care not about what country falls, but as long as there are no conflict and you remaining hidden is the utmost way to keep it that way. Currently, anyway. You agree, yes? 
What? I know who you are, if you wish for me to speak plainly. Liram's gonna look at Kara. Do not blame the boy. It was ATU. <sighs> Again, I'm the head diplomat of the Diplomacy Guild. Doesn't mean mm -hmm. I want everyone to know. I want a lot of people not to know. The current people that know, correct me if I'm wrong, is everyone in this room. Leave Shahrazade. And I believe that's it. Unless I'm incorrect. As far as I know, you're correct. Well, there we are then. I would say that's good enough for now. Mm -hmm. People to protect you and your face says otherwise, Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. Was there something you'd like to express? None. He looks at you. Hmm. All right. Feel free, feel free to speak your mind. Liren would drop this guy's self. Well, I'm not mean to bring up such fearful things already. Um, it's a pleasure to finally meet all of you. I've heard many things. What kind of many things? Well, I hear that you are all great adventurers, more than capable. Dara is too. Yeah, Although you as... prefer him to be outside of that, I know. Say again? You prefer him to stay away from the adventuring. <laughs> yes, I would like us. my boy to be safe. No. Him being young, he is rebellious, and that I am completely understanding. He isn't a child, though. No, he is not. Y you described him like one just then. It was not my intention. Forgive me. <laughs> forgive me if I am protective of the boy. It's okay. It, it's fine. I a just... lot of people do that slip of the tongue a lot. It's, it's funny. I know, but he's not a lot of people. It's his job to pick his words carefully. <laughs> I just found it funny. Very true. Anyway, um, nonetheless, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm sure you've heard about myself from Kara, and I hope to be able to meet your standards, whatever they Very may be. Very little, actually. Really? Other That's surprising. Other than a name and a bit of your relations with him. Well, regrets. It is regrettable for me to say that we haven't had much time to bond. I've been traveling the world, almost constantly, making deals, keeping peace, that sort of thing. And yet you're still so protective of him, that's sweet. <laughs> I... I assume you're aware of what occurred. There was an accident. My brother... He told me to take care of him, to a great extent. My brother didn't uh, know his father personally, nonetheless. So if you're... why did your brother say that if you're... wait, I'm confused. My brother found him. In a state. I won't say what, because it is traumatic. I don't wish to force that upon him at this moment. It's... See, he looks genuinely distressed and worried. Kara's life was hard before I had taken him. And I gave him a home, food, and a safe place to live. I wish I could have provided more. Truly, from the bottom of my heart. You did more than enough. It's, it's fine. No, I, I should have done more for you. Okay. <laughs> By all means. Um, that's...
I would say Lyrum. Despite everything he says, as you look at him, there almost looks like there's a piece missing inside his heart. Not as to say that he's no longer the man he used to be, but like he's not all there when he says what he says. In fact, in his mannerisms in general, when he talks, when he moves, his mind seems empty. You know the face of someone that is in deep thought, and that hasn't occurred once here. And I, nothing when I did detect magic. Nothing. Oh, shit. I'm sorry to <laughs> get so depressing so quickly. Um, tell me of your adventures. I've heard of dungeons. And I've heard of a powerful artifact. Am I wrong? What? Am I wrong? I have heard of a powerful artifact. Did Hara tell you that? Hara tells me everything. To a degree. I assume there are some secrets he keeps from me. Is that not no, right, Hara? Yeah, I, I don't keep... I don't tell you everyone's personal secrets. I no. just tell you what I've experienced personally. Precisely. You speak as though I'm the devil. What, what is wrong? No, I don't think you're the devil at all. I, I do. Forgive me. He say that. looks at you, Aaliyah. And why do you think that? You're a fucking diplomat. A high-ranking one at that. I, know I keep better. peace. I'm not a politician. I'm... I don't have an agenda to push other than I'm keeping the world safe. I'm from a fucking safe. world where the only way to keep peace is by getting your hands dirty. Yes, I know Yes, I better. assume the one from the lowlands would only know war as the way to keep peace. You are not versed in the way of diplomacy, and you will not assume as though I am some autocratic, authoritarian, or... I don't know what you think of me. Clearly you think little. I'm sorry. I got upset there. I made cookies. You did refer to me as the devil. He shrugs. Oh. <laughs> Who wants toffee cookies? Sure, I'll take one. Aria says. Well then. Here, we'll just put the plate in the center of the table. What have you, ask you? Metal man. From what I've heard, you rarely take off your armor. Really is he a bit of an understatement? <laughs> I don't believe Gara has even seen me without my armor. I have not. <laughs> I suppose the stories are true then. <sighs> you have I... heard stories? Yes, I've heard you have worked for this town for a very long time. <laughs> that I have? He's our resident senior citizen. <laughs> I swear I am not that old. It's okay, <laughs> Grandpa. It's okay. <laughs> this is funny coming from an elf, I must say. I'm only 120. Oh, only 120. Mean. So mean to me. I'm sorry. I'd say at this point, come in, and you'd see he'd come up. This is. A special brew. Um, something I've recently been working on. A potion that should give one the ability to jump quite high, lift, and do amazing things. Sure. How much for this drink? Um, I would say maybe 200. 300 gold? Has it been tested? No. Mm. I'll purchase it from you. You will? Yes. I think it's important to support local business. See, hand over 
three, uh, 30 pieces of platinum over his eyes wide. Thank you. Greatly. And if it does not work, I can make you another that is proper. It is more than fine once. I wish to be courteous for someone that has been kind to Kara. Thank you. Get on out immediately. Do I seem more like the devil now? Oh, don't say that. Now she'll think you just did it to prove a point. I asked oh, for the potion money. before she Surprising. said that. Okay, here we go. Yes, I have money. Is that a bad thing? I didn't say it was. You just act you as though money. it does. Thank you for supporting the shop that we've helped build. Thank you for supporting a man that was in need. Thank you for protecting Kara. He's protected me more, trust me. It's literally his job, and he's very good at it. He protects us, and in return, we're willing to protect him against um, anything and anyone. Why do you think I see him so little? Why do you why think do you I look down like on him? Why do you see him little? Uh, they, they look at you, Kara, like, what the fuck is happening? is extremely embarrassed right now. <laughs> their um, face, their hands are in their face. Mr. Vetlos. May I get you breakfast? Have you eaten? I um, sure. I'll I'll take some breakfast. Uh, Aria made it. It's actually quite good. They would turn towards you, Leah. What do you not like about it? You know where I'm from. You really think I'm easy to trust people like you. See, they think a moment. I am, yes. I would think you would be more easily able to trust me. And why in the world would I do that? You do know little of me. What do you know? Other than the history that you have done and your relations with Kara and how he seems to feel about you. Liren would come back in with the <laughs> breakfast. Which is like a father, to be clear. And as they set it down, they would have um, cutlery as well. And they would accidentally brush it against his hand as they set it down, opening a cut. I need you to roll me sleight of hand. Gah. 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 Make this seem like an accident. Because you don't... It's hard to make it seem like... Oh, you're casting Gah. hands ability before... Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kara, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry we can't trust people. Gah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to really put them in a good mood after. 20. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, thank god I rolled that! Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I am so sorry. Um, yeah. And so then they'd take did. a napkin and dab at his hand. He's always I am more so sorry. in the mornings. I, um, Arya, could you heal him? I legitimately, I'm so sorry. Let me get you a different knife. It's more than five. Um, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I'm truly, I apologize. You are, you're more than fine. Thank you. And I'm pocketing that bloody napkin. How shameful I have been to cause such a tense atmosphere. I'm sorry. No, don't worry, it's, it's not your fault. No, it's, it's, it is unbecoming of a diplomat to cause more tension. It is wrong of me. I'm sorry, Aaliyah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry in general. I should not seek to antagonize. Thank you, Leah. I would bring him a new knife and a new napkin. I appreciate I'm it. I'm truly apologetic again. You're more than fine. What do you think I do. of... Oh, by all means. I do you. recognize that Kara cares for you, and that you have taken care of Kara. That doesn't mean I recognize the work you do as something I can agree with. So he nods to you. I recognize that you have likely lived 
a life far more complex and dangerous than I could ever understand. I recognize that you have experienced perhaps such hardships I could never understand. And I wish you well in life, truly. And I'm thankful for you helping him and him helping you, to say the least. I hope we can see at least eye to eye on what we've said thus far. We can. I'm happy to hear. Well. What are you all doing next? Um, largely hiding, waiting for rebuilding efforts to finish, because um, I can't really do anything until that's done. There's a church a little ways away that we've got a set of talents, a job for the Adventurer's Guild. All right. Most likely that next. Fantastic. Un unless anything else arises within the city. Hmm. Is that all? Did you know? Um, the funniest thing, all of the other magic shops in this town get burnt to the ground. Did you hear about that? You speak of Missy. Mm -hmm. I hate her so fervently. <laughs> Me as well. I am somewhat aware of her practices, but she has yet to be caught. Under the jurisdiction of law, she cannot be tried. Yet. But I assume she'll slip up soon enough. In she threatened Kara. She did what? She did what? How so? <sighs> she called him the special type. She thought he was the special type. And do you know exactly what that means? His face is completely serious. I'm afraid I don't. She thinks that she can use him for profit. Only persuasion. Natural Whoa. 20. I see. The matter will be dealt with. I thought you should know. Thank you. Well then. What a wonderful necklace you have there, Arya. Oh, um, thank you. Does it hold any symbolism? No, no, it's, um, <laughs> a necklace. May I see it? Uh Um, she looks to you all as this. What? What's the necklace that she wears? I forgot. Um, it is currently at Mixus. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. I mean, Kara's gonna give a thumbs up. <laughs> Kara! <laughs> Poor Kara. Uh, <laughs> oh, Kara yeah, it is. It is okay if you are... wish to keep it on your person. Yeah, it's a personal thing if you're uncomfortable with sharing it with others, and especially those you barely know. It's understandable. I mean, you're right. Exactly. It is your choice, Ari. I mean, not to pry it away from you. If it is a personal item, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, it's. It's. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Just gonna keep it. <laughs> Very well. Tell me, what other ventures have you all been up to? Heard some things of the Lady of the Night? What a mysterious <laughs> figure. He punched me in the face, that was fun. How cruel. Oh no, I probably deserved it. I doubt that. Uh, you never know with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it is not the case that you deserved it. Where are you going after this venture? To the College of Elements. I seek to establish a union for a brief time, hopefully a long time, between the Welders Company and the College of Elements in the process to make a dam. Make a some... dam where? In the Elemental College, there is something called the Point of Chaos. There it spews out constant magic of four elements. One of them Mr. being... Mr. Lewis, you know where my country is, right? I'm explaining for the rest. 
Okay, I was just checking. No, no I, I mean not to belittle you. You are by, probably okay, are smarter okay. than myself, by all means. <laughs> no, I, I highly doubt that. I just wanted oh, you to... I, no, I, I was well I, aware. I, I know, because I've met you on occasion during that time, I saw in your eyes that intelligence. I'm glad you are free. But, um... Anyway, where was I? Uh, there's a dam going to be built. It's going to power something called electricity. Um, and it is hopefully going to be a very useful thing for the college. And it's going to further development. And um, it'll be a good thing, just in general. Stop floods from occurring occasionally. That sounds so cool. Any water for anyone else? Or would it be simply for water storage? Say again, one more time. Oh, I apologize. Would the dam block water flow to anyone else, or would it simply be for water storage? Like a reservoir? I would assume it'd be for water storage, though I doubt a drought would ever occur. Um, and with how much water is constantly going out, if you attempted to blast up the water, the dam would overflow and crumble. You would need, need to let water out. So I assure you, the College of Elements would not use it in any malintent against the Aether Council. Or the College of Heroes. Okay. Please, while my best friend is on the Council, I am not in line with their politics. <laughs> You are, if I'm being honest. Sorry. The Aether is... I'm sorry, I won't po talk politics here. My apologies, I'll stop. Um, no, you can say they're bitchy, it's alright. We all know. They're imperialistic. Mm-hmm. And they're land-grabbing. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell you this. Uh, Leave told me that they're trying to place airships in the Fremont. Uh, just so you know, they're planning on that. Maybe after the College of Elements, I should stop. Yeah, no, it's okay. I, lo I love bitching about politics when I know things. I never got to when I was in the other position. Glad you're able to speak freely. Right, definitely have to stop by there after trip to the College of Elements. Um, Oscar, you are a quiet one. I've just been listening while you've all been talking. Beautiful eyes. Practically glowing. You can really see them from across the table? I can. Very perceptive, to a degree. <laughs> I've seen it without his helmet on. His eyes are quite beautiful. I'm glad you agree. Oh. Black scales, did you know? Quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Well... You all awesome. say that's like you haven't seen a dragonborn before. Well, I'm... I... There's something... When something is hidden, it makes it all the more enticing for the eyes to want to see. Anyway. Hey, Mr. Kara's dad, please not at the table. Oh, no! I am not flirting. I am actually, um... Oh, how do I put this? I'm not active in the sexual realm, nor have I ever been. Oh. I am a straight shooter. That makes me sound straight. I am asexual, the term. Oh, lovely. Strictly business. But, um... Well, is there anything you'd like to ask me, any of you? doesn't have to be sexual. Say again? I said, well, flirting doesn't have no, to be sexual. You don't know when to no. stop with that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at Liram now. <laughs> Liram would look to Leah. Well, he made it awkward earlier, so now I'm making it awkward for him. Equal opportunity. Why, thank you. Of course. Mara said that a while back you were in Z-Grove, was it? I was. Ask you ruining my fun. <laughs> what exactly were you doing there again? Two tribes were about to go into conflict. 
orc and the tabaxi tribe we're going to tear each other each other apart over a well a, a field of fruit i was able to convince them and we were able to work together it was really thanks to the tabaxi leader and the orc leader working together to figure out a proper way to split the food up so that way there was enough to go around i was just able to initiate the talks at the very least and you'm glad that they tended well funny enough most of the time people don't want to tear each other apart it's either from misunderstandings or from insane leaders. Hey, Emma, how to, how is Leo looking right now? I mean, you're muted. I'm so sorry. I don't need to go outside. Uh, say one more. <laughs> how is how is Leo looking right? She she has gone from like moods of just staring this man down with daggers in her eyes to just kind of just blank face now. <laughs> She's just trying not to react to anything anymore. Well, I don't have any more questions, but it was nice to meet. Kara's guardian. It was nice, nice to meet um, the most loyal guard in all of Centurion. Well, Kara, see, he'd look at you with regret. Do you have to go? Uh, do you want me to walk with you as you head out, I guess? You'd like. Though I heard I'd, there's someone going I'd to pay to. you a visit today. Oh. Oh. Uh, and I think it might be better if you stayed. Oh, okay. Uh, then can I talk to you before you head out then? By all means. And, uh, Lyrum, I will assure you this missy individual will be dealt with swiftly and with measure. Much appreciated. Of course. Do you keep me posted? Oh, you will know immediately. Appreciated. And you would yeah. follow suit? Okay. Yes, uh, as Cara, uh, before As Cara is walking out, he just looks back at you guys. For the first time, he looks kind of annoyed at you. Oh. Ooh. Oh, she just stares him down. <laughs> what did uh, I do? Yes, Cara? Oh, I don't know if they were talking or not. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I wanted to talk about you and something in private because I um have I ever gotten any blood transfusions before? Yes, I did. You did. What's the story? You were in a state, Kara. Mm -hmm. You weren't whole when you were found. Okay. You were in half. Okay. We assumed you were dead. But I, seeing you in such a state... And knowing it was so recent, we had hope, and there was a new type of fear going around. I got the best cleric I could, doctors I could, but what we lacked was blood. So, some and most likely, it is what led to disease, and I am deeply sorry. Okay. I, I was doing everything I could to keep you alive. Okay. I, I appreciate you telling me this. It's just, I, uh, well, 
once was actually looking at my blood because I was wondering if we could strengthen his potions like that. And he saw that the symbol, the marking, it's in my blood too. Thank you. Take a deep breath. That is worrying. I won't say why. Um... No, I should be honest with you. Which blood was it from? Was what it you mean? your blood? Or was it the blood that was given to you? I don't know. I, I don't know which one's which. That's why I, I was asking you in the first place. He's lost in thought. I worry for him to look into it for one reason. I... Oh. You see, he, he genuinely looks torn. Kara, I know you've struggled with self-confidence for the longest time. And I don't want... I know this symbol that you have. It marked you for ways. I don't want you to think that it's from someone else that was someone else's mark. I think, you know, hell with prophecy. Do to tell me if the second mark arrives, but you are already great. The symbol, it means nothing. Sure, it has that prophecy and about you becoming a great, or being great, but I don't want you to learn that it's from someone else and, oh, I'm never destined to be great. I'll never achieve anything. I don't want you to think that because you are achieving great things and you will achieve great things because you're you. Because you have any special mark, some special blood, because you're you, because you're Kara. Right? All right. And don't be hard on your friend. I was antagonistic, and that was very regrettable. I, uh, I'm sorry. They don't normally no, act that no, way. It's all right. I just I wasn't mentally prepared. Um, someone to call me essentially a piece of capera. <laughs> um, but it's all right. I think I think Ali and I we. We talked it out, and I think we see more eye to eye than before. Well, I hope so. I hope so, too. So don't be hard on them. Be okay. friendly. Because they've done, a, they've done a lot for you. And we need to I be, know. I know, and I know, I know you've done a lot for them, but we should still be grateful. All right? Okay, I, I understand. Okay. I adore you, my boy. I wish you luck in your events today. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, take care, then. You as well. Okay. Carl, I'll give him a little hug. Give you a hug, too. Okay. As this conversation's occurring, what are you guys doing in the, the, the dining room? Ari would say, that was strangely tense. Indeed it was what you expect when there's a diplomat in the room filled with people that kind of don't follow rules well. I follow rules well, enough. Our existence doesn't follow rules well, Arya. Okay, the laws of nature, but not the laws of men. No, she really looks at weird laws of men too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe a little. Arya, do you recall the thing with my parents? I don't know, it was kind of a small thing. I don't... Uh -huh. uh, okay. Maybe, I've yes, lit, we've done some things. I have literally things. killed people, stolen from people. <laughs> right. uh, I don't quite recall. He didn't seem that bad of a guy, but I did get a vibe from him at some point. I just... Oh. <laughs> I cast a detect magic. Nothing. On him. Does he know Yet magic? When... I don't know. He has no magic on him at all. Hmm. None. Zero. That's odd. And upon further examination, I tried to read him, and he just was blank. 
I go with my gut. My gut says no. Learn would like hold it. up the handkerchief. It's okay, I got his blood, so. Hmm. Not sure far of that right now. Hmm. Exactly, do you mean by uh, blank? Like he wasn't all there. Like he wasn't present. Even when talking about Kara. I don't know. Mm. What an odd fellow. Something's going on there. We also need to talk about Lady of the Night when Kara comes back. Sure. Um... I'd just rather get this handkerchief down to once as soon as I can. Okay, but Lyrum, hmm? she knows your name. They pause. I tried to learn you sooner, just I couldn't get you at a good time. Oh dear God. When I was, oh dear gods. I believe I just began making connections that I sincerely hope I'm wrong about. You want to wait for Kara to tell us those connections? I do. Okay. Kara would make his way back in. How's he looking? Kara uh, is looking... Fine. Just just a little little sad, but fine. Alright, alright, fine. You can yell at me. Oh shit, why you look sad now? Oh no, it's 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 nothing. It's just sad to say goodbye, you know? The way sad when people you love go. I know. No, I really don't. Clara <laughs> <laughs> would flick her out. Alright, fine. Uh so what are you guys up to now? You might want to uh, sit down. Oh, it's, okay. It's ni nice meeting your your surrogate father. Oh, Doctor. thank you. Sit at the table. Oh my god. I got you. Yeah. All right, there you. we go. Kara starts breakdancing on the table. Um, oh, hell yeah. I mean, we're all acrobatics. Thank you. <sighs> Kara, do you recall when we went to Missy's shop? Yeah. You and she very... started... A aggro towards Missy that day, of course. I'm always usual. aggro towards Missy. Yeah, I know. Do you remember what she insinuated about either one of us? No, I, I didn't get it. I'm going to be honest. She insinuated that between one of us, we had magic blood. Okay. Now, how in the hells could Missy have known that? And how in the hells could she know my name with, if not for more evidence? I don't know if one of the three musketeers saw me walking around the city with leave, but I don't think so. Hmm. That's interesting. Is that... Huh. But what can we do about that? So the Lady of the Night knows my name, Kara. My actual one. Not my actual one. The old one. But what would the Lady of the Night be able to do with that information? She says she wants to do nothing with it. Then what's there to be afraid of? Kara. One person knowing. My situation is very unique. The way monarchies typically work, before Dee Dee went and changed it all, is that the eldest typically takes the throne. Yeah, I, I was the eldest. So, if I were to be alive, it would be my birthright to have the throne. Even if she's currently inhabiting it. Yes, but the thing is, Lady of the Night gets nothing out of using that information. Yes, she does. She gets chaos. 
and she gets a government being dismantled, which she hates governments. She gets oh. another civil war. Oh. You just relinquish the throne? Like, what is it, abdicate, right? I can abdicate it, but oh, who's going to be happy about that? I mean, oh, just I let me get. Nidia. Yes, Nidia is going to be. Well, I don't know. Does she want Didi's it? Didi's not power. Didi's. Well, yes, that's the whole reason I killed my parents. I said, "Hey, would you be cool with this?" Not the killing my parents part and myself. The, the the part where I went, "Hey, do you think you could do a better job?" And she said, "Yes." And I went, "Okay." And then that night, I killed them. I... So. I don't know if saying, do you think you'd be a better job is, do you want to do this? Is that it's a bit of a leap in logic? You weren't there for the hours and hours she spoke about the treasury and changing things if she had the opportunity. Okay. That was more actually... the tipping point. I see. Um, so I would rather not dismantle her hard work and have someone have reason to assassinate her. Because if I abdicate and then someone assassinates her, oh, guess what? It's my job again. Hmm. With that said, we have another awkward situation now because of that. Oh, Could what? We... we know her plan. We what? Do That's we? That's a good thing. Wait, wait. What's her plan? Uh, no, can I? Uh, she's yeah. going to call on her echo. Is anyone anything? <laughs> You want the echo to search around? Yeah. All right. Immediately, you would see its form would become far less Aaliyah like and far more other like. You would see its form would expand outwards, filling the entire room's floor and kind of laying flat and moving across it for feet, going up on the wall. Then it goes outside and around, um, just feeling around for anything, and then it would come back to you and shake its head. She plans to rain gold upon the city and crash airships into it. Sounds like a light show to some degree. She so has someone providing... Some she has someone providing the airships. Don't know who she won't say. I also don't technically have a date. Technically. Yeah. She will send Sim out 24 hours before it occurs. Giving us 24 hours to leave the city, as she puts it. I have an important question. Mm. What's stopping us from stopping her right now? Honestly, we might not be able to handle her. But something else is happening. If Missy is connected to her, then now we have Xander taking care of that, apparently. And something's going on with her guards, those musketeers. They weren't there the last time I went down. And that's not normal. Even she mentioned it. Assuming it has something to do with what Marlin did in the black market, but I'm not sure. We'll have to check. The most we could do, I guess, we could maybe take out a musketeer one by one. They're often separated when they're down below. We just have to make sure she doesn't find out we're the ones doing it. I mean... Why Why can't we just, you know, tell the guild to get help to just deal with her before she causes all of this mayhem? She'll, she'll probably run beforehand, and we don't know who else is willing to work for her to get this job done. She has enough gold to rain on a city. She probably has enough gold to buy everyone in it. Exactly. What we need right. to know is where she's getting the airships from. If we can stop that source, or if we can interfere with that. And then maybe interfere with her main security as well. Wasn't there something about a missing ship charter on the Adventurer's board? Well, fuck. Shit. It's there? Yeah. There, there was, was a job. Just... Yeah. There was one of them. Should we look into it, I guess? I suppose we should, yes. Yeah. Shall we tell the guild leader? <laughs> Claim that we've been doing an inside work, and that's why it took us so long to come to. Yes. I could do that. But we have to be careful. If she finds out that I told any of you, if she finds out that we're going behind her back finally, we might be fucked. 
I'll ask ATU to set up a meeting in a closed room in the diplomacy guild. Kara, can you ask for that? Sure. I mean, uh... Yeah, we can probably pull that off. And it's normal for the guild leaders to meet, isn't it? And it's yeah. normal for Kara to check in at the diplomacy guild. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Right, well. When do we want to plan this meeting? Probably as soon as possible, right? Yes. Do you want, as should we as make as sure possible. we plan it for tonight? Sounds good to me. Okay. Good to me as well. Okay. Should I be, like, covert about what the meeting's for, or should I be very upfront about it? Mm hmm. Covert when you're near open doors, I would say, just in case any ears or eyes are listening and watching. Okay. Yeah. You could be honest with ATU if you ask to speak to her in a closed space, however. Okay. Or magically. Right. All right. I knock on the door. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, uh, hello? Who's there? Apparently a friend of yours is here. Oh. Timothy, may I they come in? Oh, Timothy, oh, of course. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Stepping in <laughs> would side be, by side makes it so much worse. <laughs> would be a very plainly dressed uh, man. You would see he has white hair, he has red eyes. Um, okay. Pleasure to make all of your acquaintances. My name is Timothy. May I take this Hello, seat? Hello, Timothy. You may have Hello. that seat. Sit, sit down. <laughs> Lyrum is so tense. Ara, how many people um, did you meet that color? Should we be expecting more friends of yours? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he was so kind enough to talk to a low servant such as myself, and I am <laughs> deeply grateful. He... No, I'm assuming all of us know that Lyrum is extremely... Oh. Absolutely. Extremely <laughs> tense. Um, my, what's your name, sir? They look at you. Really. My name is Lyrum, Timothy. What is yours? Your features. They're so familiar. Your features are so familiar, Timothy. This is Timothy, so... can I ask you a question? By all means. Well, um, I'll be honest here. I know your real name isn't Timothy anymore. Oh, you see, he looks so disappointed. Really? Yeah. The mayor told me last night. Oh, that son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, just don't treat me like royalty. Okay. Thank you. He's the best. <laughs> Are you going Larry, to introduce? Okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm. What's great. your last name? I don't have one. It's just Larum. Roll me deception. I'm. So... <laughs> we really need to get you a fake last name. We really. You you could literally oh have come God. up with one on the spot. Okay. Well, all right. What's all of your names? Enlighten Aaliyah. me. Aaliyah. Love that. Hmm. But what's your full name? Aaliyah Regina. Ooh, Regina. All right. And you, sir? He's pointing to me. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Asku Gurinik. Ooh, Asku Gurinik. They kind of shimmy their shoulders. I like it. And you, ma'am? Um, my name is Arya. Arya, just Arya. I, Esseron way. All right. There is, there is respect in that. And of course, Kara, first loss. Yep. So foreign. Um, well, I am Vithron the fourth of Dacia. You can just call me Vith for short. Okay, right. Beth, I made cookies. They're in the center of the table if you'd like one. Thank you. They reach and take a bite. The working people do for fun. 
Uh. Oh, you're not someone who likes to have fun. Gamble. Do you gamble? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Hard for me to have fun. I can't drink. Can't do drugs. Can't gamble. You should try a game. What type of game? A card game. Is there money involved? Oftentimes, that's what makes it fun. But if you prefer without... I prefer without. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I'm a religious nut. Such a goody two-shoes. I'm Very. shaking in my boots. So familiar. It was a pleasure to meet you. I am so sorry, though. I have to leave early, if that's all right with you all. So Understood. Soon. Need to stop by the guild, I'm afraid. Ah, um, adventure business. That's mm. all right. Um, Adia and Liren would pass you the bloody handkerchief. Could mm. you give that to once? Of course. Thank you. Good luck, Aaliyah. How Good obvious time. was Lyrum with hang handing that to Aaliyah, by the way? Not very. <laughs> yeah. oh. That is Are the funniest history? fucking shit ever. Why do you have a plus 12? What the fuck? What just happened? I don't know. Why did he roll history? <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh. No. <laughs> Lyrum, I'm trying to give you an out. Use it. <laughs> Liren, do you want to go help Leah at the Adventurers Guild? Um... God. This is going to bother me all day. Uh, Have we met but, before? I don't think we... I mean, I can't imagine having met a prince. Where are you from? The Aether? Oh, we've definitely not met then. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. No offense, by the way. I very much disagree with the politics. Thank goodness. Yes. I, I would allow you to stomp on my foot should I agree with it. Ah! I shan't ever do such a thing. Well. Right. Well, Kara, you have a lovely time. Timothy slash Vithy, it was wonderful to meet you. Vithy? Sorry, Timothy, Vith got mixed together. Right. Well, go on then. Chase off for your girl. Sorry, but what are you implying? Is she not yours? Fuck me. What? Was that something rude there? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> no, they're just friends. Ah, right. It's a girl. Best friend girl, or I mean, a girlfriend, whatever. Anyway. Um, ask you, you're a guard. That I am. Want to give me and Kara a tour of the city? If you wish. Why, thank you, tour guide. And Arya, you seem to be a bard, and I do enjoy bards. Would you like to partake? It would be an honor. You were about to say, Your Highness. I can mm. see it in your eyes. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right. Let's skedaddle. Yep. For the four of you, we're all heading out. We're heading. Awkward, awkward seeing each other in the hallway moment. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Bye. Walks in the same direction for 30 yeah. minutes. <laughs> all right. I'll to make sure to drag them in the direction away from wherever the hell well, um, like, Aaliyah and Lyrum are going. Aaliyah's like kind of hiding behind the counter with Damien and like trying to get under the, the floorboard. <laughs> yeah, you would easily be able to give it once. Would you say anything to him? Investigate this. Figure out what this is. His blood this yeah, is. just like hand it and be like, there you go. He would say, the amount of blood I've done research on this past few days is staggering. But anyway. I didn't, I didn't even know Lyrum was going to do that. It just happened. Okay. You gave I baby a knife. Uh. I assume she turns around and sees Lyrum. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought you weren't picking up what I was trying to do. No, I literally ran. Okay. He the didn't... Fact... He just showed up. He just fucking showed up. I didn't have time to disguise self. He didn't recognize you at all, did he? No, he was sitting there. He was like, I can't <laughs> put my finger... The number of times we've spoken. How fucking dare he, honestly. Ah. So offended. My goodness. Like, I'm glad he didn't, but I am offended also. Lyrum. 
fuck's sake, what? They're still, like, at the basement a little bit before going up, I assume, at Noah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there's ever anything that you need to tell someone, I don't know. I just, I can't get out of my head what Ari was saying last night about opening up, and I just, you've done a lot, and I know I put you through a lot this morning, and I'm sorry. You didn't put me through anything. It's okay. <clears throat> just, if there's anything going on, you can tell me. Um, I appreciate it, Aaliyah, and know that you can tell me the same. I am okay, for now. That could change by the day, but I don't know. Leave is wrong. You aren't going to just drop dead suddenly. <laughs> we can hope. As long as I'm here, you won't. Thank you for fist fighting nothing. I'm stubborn. So, I know. you know that much. <laughs> what are you two doing? Are you just remaining where you are? Or? Yeah, because they're doing the diplomacy guild shit. <laughs> It, was it our job no. to tell? No, it wasn't our no, job. No, it's Kara's job. Because yeah, right. right. if we, because if we suddenly go to the Posty Guild, that might look suspicious, like sus to uh, sussy. Yeah, Lady of the Night people. Oscar, where do you lead the three of them? Which which place in the city looks like the best visually? Um, honestly, the west side of town. It's also the... going to make their way to the west side of town, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to pull you, all, pull you all to the map, and you just tell me which way you walk. Oh my god, it's night. Don't worry, the sun's rising. <laughs> Yo. I see the circle around me fading. It is all bright. Let's walk here. Ah, yes, past Missy's. <laughs> Which way are you going? Point again? You're walking past Missy's? Right. Are we allowed to go through the center? You are, yes. But, however, as you walk past Missy's, you immediately notice, oh, I grabbed the wrong person. I, I grabbed Lyrum, thinking they were the fucking prince. Um... Worried, I mean, she's always there. Does it look like that much of a love child? You'd notice there's a crowd outside Missy's with guards. Guards kind of telling people to get back. Uh, well, geez, I need to ask about this. Looks like guard duty calls. Yeah, what's going on? That it does. Oh, school walk up. Approach. Um, you'd be able to easily, you would be able to slip through, but others, the, the rest, the crowd stops you. Um, as you slip through Oscu, you would see guards there, and immediately they look relieved to see um, someone that's um, of higher rank than them approach. It would be a human guard would take off their helmet. They would um, have, I would say, a baton out, but not their spear. Oh, thank goodness someone of higher ranking came. Um, something's happened. We don't know what. Um, Missy has gone missing. Not to do a play on words. That is... very out of the ordinary. Yeah. Any information from any investigations yet? Well, from the looks of it, she... Um, there's a suitcase missing, some clothes are missing, the place looked like she, they left in a hurry, and they grabbed nothing, and they're gone. So maybe it looks like they just left? Maybe they skipped town, um, maybe someone spooked them, someone threatened them, I don't know. They're gone, though. That is... a bit out of yeah, we're looking into it. We're looking for anyone and everyone that saw everyone go in, and we found nothing yet, so... Wish us luck. Good luck in the investigation. 
<laughs> You're not. Assume you walk back. Yeah, Oscar walks back. Wait a bit. Seems like Missy just left down, apparently. Weird. I will have to inform Lyrim and Elia on that later. Well, we'll see each other later tonight, so we can do it then. Well, that is pretty much all that is happening right now. We are just doing investigations, so shall we just keep going? Yeah. Okay. Asku leads them towards the center of town. You lead them past the militaristic district, the airship still above patrolling. Um, you would see a rather fancy cart made out of hardened glass shimmering. Um, some servants seemingly looking about, asking around for the prince. You'd see... Um, Let's move away the, from them. Uh, <laughs> gesture for you to move quickly. Um, eventually, you would get past and... Uh, from this area, because you've kind of the place is kind of built on top of a hill, um, you would see this kind of rainbow cascading, cascading set of roofs, um, and I would say the prince would state, "It is quite pretty. It's like a mosaic." I've never really got to look around at this part of town too much. Perhaps it is a very good part. Perhaps it's time to explore it. Just a little bit. Sure. Yeah. I would say the Prince of Dacia, he's not looking to have... He's willing to answer any of uh, and all questions. But he's just looking to have fun. He's just looking to hang out with people and um, he just around try food um try drinks but after about an hour maybe two hours you'd say all right i'm afraid i likely have to go my apologies i know my presence is uplifting oh before you go you should listen to aria play a song first she's really good um, songstress pluck your strings I would go, oh, all right, I'll get doing my best. Aru's just giving Moro support at the sidelines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a brief ditty, maybe two minutes, three minutes. You are fantastic. You are perhaps one of the better performers I've met. You are more than welcome to the court at any time. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Of course. And Kara, you are more than welcome to visit Darcy at any time you like. I'll probably visit there one day. I want to see every place in this world at some point, so I'll make mm -hmm. sure to stop by. Feel free to stop by at any time you like. Perhaps you and I can have a private chat sometime. Oh, okay. Well, all right. It was a pleasure meeting you, Oscar. It is a pleasure meeting you as well. May your loyalty be everlasting. Yeah. They would... They'd make their way. I would say, actually, do they want to? Do they want to show off a little bit? Yeah, they'd show off. A little bit. They would just begin to almost levitate, and they'd be gone, like lightning through the air. Right. All right. Yeah. Are you sure that there is not? A bit more between you and him. Kara, I'm, I'm a master of innuendos. He wants to date you. Wait, what? A private chat alone. He fawns over you so. The man wants to kiss your face. We just met. I feel like that's a little bit too far so quickly. People are forward. I used to be even more forward in college. Oh, God. I know, a terrifying idea. Anyway, um, let's go meet the others. Or were we supposed to do something? Uh, I need to stop by the Diplomacy Guilds to right. uh, talk to ACU. Right, right, right. Let's head on over. Okay. Okay. Let me 
me actually play some music. I've been talking in silence. It would be very quick. You would head into the room. And you'd find her there. She'd say, Hora, back so soon. I hope you have your letters prepared. Uh, no, it's, this is actually about something else. Kara is going to begin uh, speaking a little bit of a lower tone. Uh, if you can have a private conference room for later tonight, we need to meet up with you and the lead of the Adventurers Guild, too, to discuss some stuff. Is this an emergency? Uh, wait, give me a second. But, uh, where's what I'm looking for? Where is it? Where's the spell? Where's the spell? Car's not gonna say anything. He's just gonna... Minor illusion, a, a yes. Okay. Like, on her desk, where it's not easily seen. I see. Very well. I will schedule a meeting immediately. When would you like the meeting to occur? Uh, 8 p.m. Very well. 8 p.m. it shall be. Please be there right. on the dot. Understood. The others will be here as well. Understood. Good day. To you as well. Kara will walk out. Uh, assuming Ari and Oscar are still there. 8 p.m. And if either of you guys can find the others, tell them 8 p.m. as well. Alrighty. And I'm sure that we will meet them sometime today before that. Oh, but I mean, we can just go back to Once's. I assume they're still there, no? They should be. Okay. Works for me. Okay. Right, I need to tell Liren about Missy. Oops. Let me... What the fuck? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what would you? What would Liram and Aaliyah be doing as they're out and about? I mean, Liram is definitely not out and about right now. Okay. Considering um, current company in town, Aaliyah would probably want to try and work on common with the echo a little bit and offer Liram to join her upstairs on that. Yeah, Liram would absolutely assist. Okay. At nine more days. I would say you get a half, half a day. Hours. Okay, yeah, cool. That's so nine and a half days left. Yeah. You guys would hear three people enter the store. You would know. Um, clonk, the, clonk. The footfalls that, which is likely Oscu and company. Oscu and Co. Uh, so you guys are heading upstairs. Well, assuming that's where they are, yeah. Drag you up. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. You can't catch me. No. Doo -doo -doo. You were caught. <laughs> You'd see they Our... would be teaching the Echo. What seats the Echo in? Um, don't, I don't want to sit, on, sit where it's sitting, uh, you know. Let me put the Echo down. Let me choose it, it'd be rude echoes. to sit where they're currently sitting, obviously. It would be very rude like if i sit on it that could deal one damage and just kill it you know you bludgeon it to death with your ass hey listen how ass is a powerful weapon is he oh there aren't enough wouldn't oh, you aren't. like to know weather boy they're in Helia. apparently very <laughs> well atu knows 8 p.m Okay. Where's your friend? Oh, they had to leave. Oh. I almost shit my pants. That is very unfortunate that that almost happened. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, <sighs> God. I was terrifying. Well, Liren, do you want some, you see, silver lining? Uh, sure, what's... what's going on? So... That thing that you said about Missy, right? Yes? Yes, there is apparently... currently an investigation at Missy's shop because it just seems like they left down. Ask you I could kiss you on the lips right now. Please do not. 
I won't. You'd have to get through the armor first. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that'd be so uncomfortable. I would break my nose on your snoot right now. Please do not do that either. I won't, for now. You almost make it sound like a threat. Perhaps. Well, I mean, I'm just overjoyed yeah. right now. Uh, goodbye, bitch. Was that, goodbye. was that Xander? I hope so. Has to be. Right after our conversation. It just happens to happen oh, on the Xander. same day. So quick, though. It does appear like she left in a hurry. She looks like Kara. He is a powerful man, and like I said, probably hasn't been afraid in the past to get his hands dirty. He can get stuff done. Understood. I, I was just worried, you know, that maybe a certain someone didn't inform us something was happening soon either. That mm. could also which be would have, the case. Which could be another <laughs> reason to leave town. She has no... She has no reason to not send Sim. Well, I haven't done or said anything us. since it. Maybe not you guys, but she trusts me at least to give Sim the war to give me the warning with Sim. She has no okay. reason to go back on her word now. I haven't done anything since. All right, I'll trust you. Well, did Vithy try to kiss you? What? <laughs> did Vithy try to kiss you? No. It looked like he wanted to. He said he had a lot of flirting, if that means anything. <laughs> of course he did. I just met them. That's, this is, that's a lot to do very quickly. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. No, you, don't really, you don't really need to know a person to do much with them. <laughs> it's... I believe he, he has a soft spot for you. He likes what, you. Did he... When you talked to him... Were you like super kind or like? Clearly, your first interaction went very well. I think they just enjoyed talking to somebody who didn't treat them like a prince. God, I get that. That does make sense. Was set with me when I almost said your highness. Mm. It's the best move you can make, not treating them like royalty. Trust me. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind if I ever met. A royal individual I wish to swim. Oh, don't worry. No one here will treat you like royalty. Fuck <laughs> you. Alright, um... Well, I suppose we wait till late? I suppose we shall. Alright, well... Right. Let's go Who back wants to dinner? Eight lines, right? Oh, God. Uh, you see the echoes upset. The thought of straight lines. Okay. Then take a break. <laughs> you see it prefers hey, to Noah? draw. And what's up? Uh, How long until eight? Ah, uh, you got three hours. Olia, where's the blood? Which one? What? That's all oh, your echo. What? Why are you guys... What? Oh, um... Pig blood. Do I have it on me still? Is it in the room? <laughs> Where did uh, I put you, it? <laughs> you used it all up. You fed it. That was all of it. You gave it- you gave her all of it? She was hungry! God. I'll get more for you tomorrow. Echo not and for this first time, smiles happily. Oh, don't do that. It looks upset at you. Mm, Smile, it was sweet. Creepy. You see it, it puts- friendly. It hardens its finger and elongates its smile unnaturally. Okay, okay, go back to what you were doing before. A bit much. Look at her, she's so cute. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> glad that you two emotions. enjoy each other's company. Echo, you're my favorite, you know that. Gives a big thumbs up. What were you saying, Kara? Oh, no, I was just saying it's good for her to express its emotions. Exactly. Something on your mind, Oscar? Oh, Asuka would just, um, as one just, like, walk around town for the three hours. Okay. Easily done. You'd happily Probably be... go to Marlin. Oh, you're going to Marlin, okay. Could you pick up the blood for the baby? Ah. Uh, wait, 
What? Where? Just go, just go to the butcher and ask for pig's blood. Oh, they'll let you have it immediately. You're a god. What the fuck is a guard going to you? Please go for They won't think you're doing cult shit like they thought we were. Oh, fine. Good. You literally okay. have a bag no, of loyalty do that they'll trust you. Yeah, they would give you it for a silver. Uh, go ahead and Why the fuck do the guards get all the good stuff in this city? Rule me survival, Lou. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know what? I, no, I shouldn't. I need to keep my other second level spell slot. This could be bad, but it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. It's about the effort you put in. It really is. Yeah. One second. That. Uh, are you equal be... to my? I'm adding a d6. Ten. It's average. Hell yeah. Let's go. Very average meal. Not bland. That's just okay. Okay. It's rice yeah, and beans. It's okay. You finally found the beans. I found the beans. Let's go. I found the, the beans. beans. The black beans, though. Where's like the, the red tent? beans? Uh, so you're teaching your echo till eight. Trying to. <laughs> All right, you go. You'll get to the full day then. I won't just give Fuck you a half. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing, Kara? Uh, Kara actually probably wants to talk to Arya before we head out at eight oh. for eight. Sure. I would be all ears. Is it in private or just in general? Probably in private. Oh, okay. We'll play your side. What's up? <clears throat> uh, I wanted to ask... Well, this is something within your expertise. So I want to know if you knew something specific. It, it's music related. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, while I was at the gala, I met with the mayor. And the mayor said they knew my parents but only remember a bit about them they said at least one of them or maybe both were like famous musicians so i just wanted to know what you knew about like what famous musicians you know so maybe i can well start figuring stuff out they would think a moment um like anyone specifically the piano i feel like is a good archibald lead. the oh pianist um, yeah. I was Deferon Sonic Famous pianists Do these names mean anything to you? Desvolt Bellamont No No RG No Carolina No um. Oh, there is another, but I seem to skip me. They were a duo. Okay. It was pianist and violin. Okay. Can't remember them. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Well, thank you for trying to help. Of course. All right. All and then right. that would be the end of the conversation. There you go. That on it. Any other conversations you guys would like to have for the time? I want to check in with once. Once would actually be coming upstairs around seven. Oh shit! You just walk up. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. So, first, hi. I feel like a doctor. <laughs> That's a strange thing to say. Made food. Oh, I'll have some. The echo just sitting there writing. <laughs> Is it doing good? She's doing homework. Oh. I wish them luck. Let them know if I help in any way. Thumbs up. And they would try and write I think they'd spell think wrong and spell it tink. Mm. Your mask is cool. Well, I Aww. think you're cool. See, oh. Would not in appreciation. Aaliyah looks like so uncomfortable but this doesn't say anything. So, 
I have three results. Leers, um, Lyrums, and Xanders. Wait, what? Are you not aware? What, what, what do you mean? I received a blood sample. From who? Ah, uh, Aaliyah, was it? Um, yes. You did what? <laughs> no, I didn't do anything, alright? I was fucking deliver. The, when Liram cut his hand by accident, some blood got on the napkin. Why are you getting it tested? I just handed it to once to... I'm asking Cora. Liram. Oh, to see if it matched either of the blood you had, to see if he had a transfusion or if he transfused a soda. <laughs> There is oddities to the blood. Oh shit, really? There is, yes. Kara, it was completely innocent. I just wanted to see if he... Once, don't... Once, trans look at me. You're not... Scarab? They're not allowed to learn this information. <sighs> they can't do something like that and go behind my back. That's just... I thought you guys trusted me. I really did. Kara! We do trust you. Then why'd you do that? I told you he's a good man, and now you're just doing that? Yeah, no, Cora. I wanted to see if he, if he transfused blood to you. It, it was completely innocuous. It, it wasn't because I didn't trust him or thought him evil. I just wanted to see if his blood was the one that was transfused to you. Cool, just about the it. transfusion. Wait a second. I, yes, I was meaning to speak with you on that. I was completely forward to them. I told them everything that you told me, and that you already knew. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I guess nothing can stay secret here, I see. Cara. Yeah, Kara. Found that out the hard way myself. As he once would look at you, Kara. His eyes would be one of... Um... A little bit of orange... And I'd say a deep yellow. I'm confused. Was it not you that stated that it is best not to hold secrets? I know, but this just... I didn't want them to know because they just had more things to worry about. There's already so much on their plate. I don't want them to have to worry about more things. Kara? All right? There's enough uh, going on. Kara? Yes. When it has to do with blood, and when it has to do with magic, we kind of need to know, because that puts us as danger too. That's why I ended up telling you everything about me. I understand wanting to hide it. I understand wanting to not make people worry or make people scared. But people need to know. At least the ones you travel with. Yes, I know. I'm doing this to keep you safe. Ara. I'd worry more with less information. The more we know, the more we can control. The less variables, the better. We should know things. Fine, it's just... It's better to know less because it's safer. If that were true in my situation... Then I would be gone by now. I would have left. Okay, fine, but it's this still doesn't buy. Just stealing I will a blood sample from you. someone. I will agree with you on this, Kara. I should have told you beforehand to some degree. Of what they were going to do. I mean, I didn't even know he was showing up. It's not as though I was plotting it. I cut his hand with a knife, dabbed at it with a napkin because I felt bad, and then I said, Oh, Aaliyah, maybe this could help. In at least I didn't fuck up completely kind of way. Get how this uh, helps. I don't get the point of this. Kara, did, I just wanted to know, for your sake, if the blood was his. That's it. What will that tell you? Why does that, what information will that give you about me? There's oddities in your blood. I wanted to see if the transfusion was from him. That's it. I know it's not from him. He told me. 
Okay, then oh. that shouldn't be an issue. Then we don't need to share the results. Kara. Uh, perhaps I should just start with Leah and Leah. Please do. Well, Leah, um, your blood shows that of a slack addict. No shit. <laughs> yes, but there's also some oddities. I saw... Oh, how do I put this? Tissue of various organs in it? From intestine to heart to even the occasional bone fragment. Organs typically in the process uh, sort of melt. You go from the inside out transformation. Pretty like terrifying, but alright. Nasty business. I also noticed something odd. Your blood sample moved. As though it was alive slightly. See, the echo would simply wave. I assume that to be slightly part of the case. Um, generally what I was able to glean from it living in its own right, but also your blood. Which is odd, to say the least. Um, any questions on that? Not like I'd be able to provide much anyway. Thank you. No, not really. More than fine. Happy to help. Yeah. Your blood is indeed magical. What? I know, surprising. I can't believe this all my life. You have a number of... Essentially... Uh, there are numbers of essences of materials in the world. The four most common are earth, wind, fire, earth. From the el uh, elemental chaos. Earth, wind, fire, uh, <laughs> earth, wind, fire, and earth. Oh, did I say earth twice? What? You did. I forgot water. Um, okay. and your blood shows multiple aspects of that. And... What else was it? Oh yes, ice is far more common. For some odd reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, um, yep. I know that. I also did some research mm -hmm. on lineages. Oh shit. Okay. The Lich Queen Cirrus... I she know. wasn't a sorcerer. I know. She was a, uh, by all accounts, uh, a wizard of sorts. Her mind was beyond that. So it perplexes me how one's blood from such a lineage would occur. Unless she somehow blessed or infused magic into her bloodline, which is possible. No, I also can't find any accounts of her having children. All rather odd. Perhaps great, 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 great grandma just magically spawned children. I don't know. Well, that's another thing I find. In multiple reports, there's debates on her being either a Genasi or a Tiefling. Due to racism, essentially. I believed it to be a tiefling. I believed it to be neither. There's a type of mm. person or creature, occasionally, that is both neither yet both. Changeling of sorts. I believe perhaps they were something like that. They were able to change shape and form, whether it be from their immense power of magic or via their birth, I'm not sure. Okay. Are you certain you don't wish for me to reveal it, Kara? It is enlightening to a degree. S somebody's personal privacy who do not condone this. Kara, please. It's nothing bad. I mean... It's still a breach of privacy. 
Very true. I do feel bad. Slightly. He did Don't give me a want... lot of money. Don't you want to know if he lied to you? About the transfusions? No, because I know he didn't lie. I... I will confirm this. He did not, in fact, lie to you. It's not his blood. Good. Yeah. Good. If you That's wish all for, we need to know, man. If you wish for me to say no more, and I... What Cara, I know? Does he cast magic? What? Kara, does he cast magic? I just want to know. I... I don't know, personally. But I've never really seen him in action before. He's not very magical when he, I saw him back at home. That's all I can say. I don't know if he could be casting magic when he's away. But that's it. Kara, can I be completely upfront with you right now? Fine. When he was speaking today, he didn't seem all there. And I don't mean as though he was absent from you or that he didn't want to be there. I mean, it seemed like mentally he wasn't there. Not entirely. What? That doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't, and that's why I'm concerned. It doesn't make sense to me, and I want to understand, because clearly no, he loves no, you. No, 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 no. You're not making sense. I don't get what... what? Why would you say this? Why would you make something up like that? Not making right. this up. Let's... Clearly... For the time... You think I'm lying? Yes, I think you're lying. You guys immediately just were so... When did I antagonize him, other than teasing? Name one time. Listen. Well, one, you immediately did not trust him. I know, I understand why you didn't trust him with your secret, obviously. There's way too much invested there. But it's more just the fact that you still stole his blood for a reason that was completely unknown to me until right now. I think I have reason to not trust your motives here. And what motives would I have? I don't know. I'm not going to act like I know, but I'm going to act like you have been doing stuff behind my back for some reason. Let's... say Bright orange eyes. Let's, um... all calm down. Kyle, would you like some fresh air? I'm leaving for now. I'll see you guys later. <sighs> Car is leaving. Neom. From, from what I've understood, Kara, he's known Xander for most of his adult life. The reason why he trusts himself. Do forgive him. It's, it's like your sister. Imagine if one of the people here questioned her, stole her blood, and did not fully trust her. When you trusted her absolutely fully. That is the best way I can put it. What I assume he's feeling. Nydia? Mm. But if my sister gave any reason for someone to distrust her, I might understand. I... And I hope... I hope he understands your situation, and I hope you understand his care. Parental figure. I am... 
going to go and make potions as I normally do. I wish I had better counsel on how to handle this matter, but I'm sure you lot will handle it well. He didn't have any traces of magic on him. Isn't that funny? No, I'm not mage. But I know he never casted a spell before. From all None at all. No magical items. No. Nothing. No enchantments. No sendings, despite being a diplomat. No sending stone. Perhaps no magical he's... parchment. Nothing. I mean, I'm sure maybe he has magical parchments on his ship. Has an airship. Not a single sending stone. I mean, listen, I, 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 I can understand your suspicions to a degree, but this isn't the Southern Lands. Not everyone has magic. I meant what I said about him not being there. I don't follow. Mentally, he was absent. Right. And not in a normal way. He wasn't spacing out. He just wasn't there. Like a part of him was missing. Yes. I mean, it's hard to base someone's character on one conversation. He was kind to me. I'm not saying he wasn't kind. I'm saying something was wrong. Perhaps that's just how he is. Just who he is. And why would Kara say I'm fabricating a lie, if that's how he normally is? told him that the person he loves isn't all there mentally. Of course he's going to reject that idea. Listen, I, I understand things are away at the moment. Um, again, I wish you luck. I thank you all for your courtesy. Everything you do for me, and I hope I can continue to serve you just as well. I hope this matter can be resolved and you all can see it eye to eye. Now, that's what go. For the record, I do believe you. I know you have no reason to make that up. It's a weird thing to say anyway about anyone mm. well nonetheless we need to get to Kara I know this is all very important but we need to tell ATU and the, the adventurous go captain about the lady of the night's plans Echo go away the Echo shakes said no No, no, dismiss. <laughs> Chick said no. You can't go out in the city. We've talked about this. Looks like it gives a sigh and then it fades. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going after him. I mean, we all should. Let's go then. No, I wasn't there for all that, right? Ugh. <laughs> For the solo conversation, or yeah, it was just like elsewhere. <laughs> um, I mean that's up to Oscar. I mean, you guys were kind of on that. Oh, that's right, you're wandering the city. Yeah, Oscar was walking around, us just that's like vibing right. with Marlin. If you found him, that's right. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move over to that. Oscar gonna... was sitting in the dining room this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was there. I'm so sorry. I wasn't saying anything because I knew, like, wait, technically he's not here right now. Yeah, you're right. I should have moved you from the board. I thought you were there. I'm so sorry. Oscar just sitting there and motionless. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm you guys to... turn around, look at him again, and he's just not there. Oh no. Let me. We all play up. Where would you be, Oscar? Where are you heading? Yep, let's try the place that Marlin always is. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
you are making your way up and um you would see that it's pretty quiet it's more quiet than usual around here um you would see the barkeep there he would let it sigh um and shout towards you what do you want just looking for marlin again give me a second you see he lifts up a hatch that's behind the counter and he walks down some stairs Oh, Scoot just takes a seat. Yeah, Marlin and him would walk up. Hey, y'all, Scoot, buddy, what's up? It's just been a long couple of past days. I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? Just a lot of guard duty. You know that color? Yeah, yeah. Oh, rich folks, am I right? Well, what's been up with you these past days? Celebrating how everything was a success, as far as <laughs> it seems. Got away with it, and uh, yeah, I'm treating myself. <laughs> as you should. How's everyone else doing? Let's see. Mira and Alea are not quite liking the amount of people that have come here because of the gala and I am pretty sure that a prince was flirting with Kara. Ah, good for him, I guess. Was it like a big shot prince or like, I don't know politics well. You think? No, have I ever heard of Dacia before? Yeah, all it's uh, its its country is known for its um, pretty much diamond mines, jewel mines, and its cows. How is the country known for its cows? Uh, think Wagyu meat, like A5 uh, okay. Wagyu. <laughs> well, the Prince of Dacia, was it? Oh, wow. I have no idea who he is. Me neither. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I can drink to that. I can drink to most things, honestly. Where's Aaliyah? I want to lose my money or take money from her. He's just that once is right now. Are you sure you want to keep... Listen. Gambling have you, heard of, have you heard of the Wheel of Fortune? I'm at the bottom, but I'm going to come back up on top. It spins around. Or maybe me being successful means I was lucky and now I'm on the bottom again. Shit. Mm. I'll still that. I've been a bit curious about this gambling. How about you test your luck? Ah, sounds more like you're testing yours. Let's play. <laughs> I need you I've to roll deception or insight. He's uh, going to bet, I would say, a gold. Perception or inside? Let's go with this one. <laughs> you lose out on a gold. <laughs> also, the gold coin I put down was fake. I didn't have any money. And what exactly happens with the money from the job? What job? Oh, the money you the... gave me. Yes, yeah, that I, one. I used it on some things um, to get stuff. Equipment for our little mission that we did. <laughs> yeah, this is a good cause. Yeah. Want to play again? I'm starting to see why you lead this. Is... <laughs> Roll me insight or description. Bet one goal. Does it matter? <laughs> uh, you might not 20. Nope. It was so close Ooh, to. Here, one more game. I bet all what I got. Two gold. Come on. How much did I lose from that one? Uh, you lost one gold. So you lost two gold. He's gained two gold. He's betting the two gold he got.
Fuck. The wheel turned. <laughs> Poor again, he says. Uh, it's okay, though. Honestly, I think you should keep it. Really? Wait, I'm not using it. Are you giving me two gold or four gold? Two. I win that round. All right. <laughs> You're still a little stingy. That's all right, though. Well, <laughs> hey, um, if you guys need me, I know I'm good with my feet and my hands and punching. So if you guys need anyone knocked out or want something punched, your guy. Ah, that is another thing I was going to ask you about. Uh, what's is that, up? Is that uh, axe trap that we ran into in the dungeon? Yeah, what about it? How is that gash that you took? Oh yeah, he'd lift up his shirt. It's a nasty cut, but it's, you know, getting there. Scars will heal over time, or they won't heal at all. You know, you can probably get that a bit touched up by Aria, right? Probably. It looks cool, don't it? Yes, I have to say. Scars definitely make people look more interesting. Glad you agree. Put your shirt back on properly. Well, um... Hey, how about I go over and give you guys a visit? I'm sure guys are bored out of your minds over there talking Perhaps. about politics and stuff no what time is it it's around 7 30 you got 30 minutes till you got to be in a meeting with the two uh, guild masters how how long does it take me to get from here to here uh, from there to there uh, about 15 minutes maybe 10 Perhaps we will be able to speak a bit more later. We All have a bit right. of a meeting. See what I tell you. Boring adventurer stuff. All right, well, um, wish you luck in your meeting, and I'll probably stop by tomorrow, maybe, or something. I don't know. Tomorrow should work. All right, Shelby. Good luck. You have a good one. Well, nonetheless, you're all heading out, and you're looking for Kara. Kara, which direction would you have headed? Well, the thing is, let me think. Uh, Kara would have would first actually head towards the Diplomacy Guild. And he's going to walk inside for a moment. And you'd walk inside? And you'd be able to get there? Where are you guys heading? People looking for Kara. Uh, Kara's, Kara's interaction there is going to be really quick, so I feel like it's going to be before they even leave. Oh, okay. Fucking Kara's friends. Are... <laughs> um, you would pop in, ATU would see you. You seem in a rush? Yeah, um, I might be late to the meeting, but don't worry, everyone else will be there. Why is so, that? So, uh, uh, something just came up. Don't worry about it, alright? What would that be? I, I said don't worry about it, alright? I would like trust to know, Kara. Just trust me here. I just need to go meet with someone. That being? I can't explain yet. Okay? I must know. I'm sorry, I, I can't explain. Why is that? Because it's, a, it's supposed to be a secret. I is can't it someone just go. dangerous, or is it someone who is important, or...? Uh, I'd say someone quite important to stuff that is going on right now. Is this yeah. the Prince of Dacia? No. Is this the mayor? No. Then who is this? I'll see you later. You... St <laughs> they stand up. Excuse me, Kara. Yes. You call for a meeting with both me and... Well, listen, it'd be, it'd be rude for me not to say I might be a little late, so that's why I came in here. And you are going to speak to someone very important and very current with the situation? Yes. Who is this person? I can explain later. 
I just mm. can't explain right now. Which direction are you heading? Car is going to point westward. Okay. Very well. You may go. Good luck. Yeah. Car leaves. Where are you going? Car is not heading westward, and car <laughs> is heading east. <laughs> okay. I, I fucking knew so. it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> All right. With that, where are you guys going? Uh, Aaliyah, Lirum, and Oscar. Not Kosku, gosh. Aaliyah, Lirum, and Aria. Too many A's. Too many A's. Triple A um, battery. Triple A battery. <laughs> That'd be our group name. Um, <laughs> Triple A battery. I. <sighs> Because like it is almost eight, right? Yeah, it's around seven thirty. He might he might be going to the diplomacy guild to just to hide behind the conference. True. Should we head there? We should just head in that direction. See if we run into him. We're, it's the closest thing, anyway. Thoughts, Lyra? Hmm. Thoughts on the adventurous, not adventurous guild, diplomacy guild. Knowing Kara, he'll probably try to do something to prove himself other than the meeting, but sure. Right. Okay. Let's head to Diplomacy Guild. It's you, it's Sam. I've been expecting you. Kara, check in and then leave. Yes. Okay. Yup. He told me he was heading westward. To meet a very important person that is current to the situation, that is not the mayor, that is not the Prince of Darcia. Oh, I'm sure he was lying. That he wasn't going to see the Prince of Darcia, I don't exactly follow. Whatever he told you. Whatever direction he was heading, he wouldn't want you to follow him. He probably went the opposite way. Perhaps. I wish you luck. Appreciated. Which way are you guys heading? Ari will say, should I head left? Well, I mean west, left. Sure. sure. And then right. we can go the other way, spread out a bit. Good luck. Uh, be safe. There's so many streets that go left. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a jacket, this one. <laughs> <laughs> she rises off. Alright, well. We there's only from... one. There was only one yeah. that go goes east or to the right. Yeah, we came from that one. So, so Tara, where are you heading? Are you going somewhere in particular? Or... Yeah, we're going this way, and then this way. Yeah, I fucking thought so. And then this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. that's where really yep. thought you were going. Uh, I need you guys to roll investigation at advantage because. Everyone around you is like if you ask around, they'll say, "Yeah, there was this guy that was writing that way." Twenty-one. Yeah, you guys are able to keep on his tail pretty well. Oh, thank God! Uh, I don't want this match back, so that's fine. So you are running into the slums, speed walking, not running. That'd be too You're much speed of speed walking. What about yeah. what about you guys? Uh, I'm fucking sprinting and just okay. literally yeah. shouting behind her, "Turn right!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, roll me some athletics. I'm really yep. good at that. <laughs> That's an eight. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, the people too too many Here's people. The, the DC was not high to catch up with. Okay. Him because I um, was about to smack you with an enhance ability. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will say, uh, you're like maybe a minute behind Lyrum, but you'd be able to see him first, Alia, from running. And Kara? I would say, Kara, you can not only hear from her shouting, but her, from her heavy footfalls, um, Aaliyah approaching from behind. Okay. Uh, where's the nearest alley? Everywhere. This is the slums. Kara's gonna slide into an alley. Okay. And then... Oh. Okay. I can... Hey. 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 Um, no, that doesn't do anything for you. Kara, you're so cute. Kara, you're uh, so cute. You're a minute Maybe. behind. You're a minute behind. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Not... No, dude, that's what I switched out. Yeah. Fuck you me, that's what I switched out for protection. I know exactly Fuck what me. you're looking for. Fuck so, me. Kara, I need you to roll stealth at advantage. 
Ayo. I can still fail this horribly, knowing my own luck. I'm tempted to play chase music, but it's you guys chasing each other. <sighs> 16. You know that one song from Spongebob? Aria? Not Aria. <laughs> Jesus. Aaliyah, I need you to roll me Perception. You need to beat a 16. Oh! Never mind, Ali is a god. <laughs> I would say, where would Kara hide in an alley invisible? Uh, Kara would just basically lean up against the wall and as turning invisible and just wait for Ali to walk by and then just leave the alleyway afterwards. So that the was his thing plan. about the slums is they're very dirty and it's kind of dirt paths. So you would be able to see his footballs and see them kind of just... <laughs> Leaning against the wall and an outline of someone leaning oh. against the wall. Aaliyah. She, yeah, she would stop, like, not looking at him. And just, still looking up, just reach over and grab him by the side of the collar and just pull him over to her. Alright, are you trying to resist the grapple, Kara? Kara's surprised, so Kara would not initially resist because he did not know she would see him. Is that you're grabbed... Lyra, ah! you catch up, you would see Aaliyah struggling with an invisible something. Did he turn invisible? Yes. Kara, no. drop it. Kara's dro probably drop dropped it. it by this point. Kara, yeah. Kara, dro Kara dropped it as soon as he started. Drop it? Because... What All right. the fuck are you doing? I wanted alone time. I'm just out here. You wanted to be alone by time in the one place that's probably the most dangerous for you to be in right now. What's so dangerous? Kara, I know you're not stupid, so don't play dumb. I'm not. You can have alone time. We can understand that, but not this. All right. Are you happy now? Oh, I'll. J you got me. Fine. Just do what you want. I'll come with you. No worries. Are you so reluctant to accept concern from others? I'm reluctant to take the concern because all you do is lie to me. You go behind my back and you've been doing stuff. I don't know where it starts and where it ends, all right? I'll be honest with you, Kara. I cut his hand on purpose. I got the blood on purpose. You are blinded by affection. Do I think he is evil? No, I don't. Not an evil person, not to you. However, if there are things going on that you do not remember, and yet he is your guardian, and if you have noticed, no one can remember your parents, Kara. Does that not strike you as odd? Once showed us a symbol that we could not remember. I could remember it. Does that not strike it. you as odd? You can remember it. Yes. I was wondering. So then you are exempt. And apparently so is he, and that doesn't worry you in the slightest. Did he show you the symbol? What do you mean? Did he tell you what it was? Did he show it to you? Does he know what it is? Do you know what it is? I've been told what it is, and I've been told what it means. By who? I was told by Xander. So, he can see it, and he is involved. Yes, he's done research for it. He, most of, Some of his time he's spent out doing diplomacy stuff, he's been doing that research for me. That's why I trusted him to try yes, to help me find research Yes, and he can remember it, and no one else can, Kara. Not a single other person can. You're... 
the the minimal data we have here does not prove this. What what is there? Five of us? Okay, twenty percent success rate. Does anyone know who your parents are? Anyone at all? I'm sorry, I don't remember my parents. I'm sorry, I don't have information to properly describe them. I'm sorry, I have. So no mm -hmm. one else knew your parents in the history of them being alive? Not a single person? I don't know where they're from. Do you think one person in one random nation would know about a fam family history of somebody from a different nation? Do you think that's how people know each other? Do you know everyone who lives in this city? From here, Kara. What do you mean? Not from this city, Kara. I don't no, know I where don't they're know. from. The fact that I don't know where they're from that means there is there could be a place out there where people do know who they are. Okay. You we're can't getting, just we're getting sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. Kara, is Xander the only person that you trust? Truly, we won't be hurt by your answer. I just need to know. Is Xander the only person that you trust? He's the first person I trust because he's the first... He's the only person who's taken care of me for most of my life. Of course I trust him. Do you let him see the symbol? He's the one who taught me about it. But... <clears throat> We'd all hear, even though it double checked. The only one that wouldn't hear would hear footfalls at the other end of the alley, deeper in the slums. Someone thudding up against the wall, out of sight. We need to go. We need to go. Ryan, then go. Leave the slums, go anywhere else that you want to go, but just please. Fine, I'll do I'll do that for you at least. Thank you. Thank you. As you guys are walking, you'd hear someone turn the corner. Mon amis! Mm. Having a bit of a family scuffle right now, I'm sorry. I heard shouting in the distance. Yeah, we're fighting. I came to eavesdrop and I was heard. What the shame. It's okay. It was rather boring. Eh, with you lot, I hardly doubt that. Are you uh, on the eavesdropping or do you have a message? I do. Mm. What happened to Missy? So she is a pet. Other than me bitching out of you. Oh, on much thin ice you are. Speak plainly and honestly, or the people in this city that you know and care about will be hurt. All right, all right. Oh, you're saying you guys aren't the ones that did, that got rid of Missy then? No. Why would we do that? We literally thought you told her to skip town. I don't know. That's why we didn't say anything. What do you know? Not a lot. She threatened... Me and Kara very vaguely, which made it clear. Like, that was her own fuck-up, by the way. Due to threatening the two of them, she happened to threaten some important people that didn't take light to that. Is that so? And who is this important person? Shouldn't you know? You have eyes and ears everywhere, right? Figure it out. You think for the record, it, it, it wasn't me or anyone I'm technically associated with, for the record. We do not know this. So none of you have any idea who was responsible, any inkling of the fact. Even though leave. I... Hmm? It wasn't it wasn't leave. Because leave isn't here right now. The worst he can do is threaten who, her crystal. Who is this leave? You know about leave. God. No, really. I do not know about leave. Be she does, so she don't does. worry. She's got that information locked down. She, she knows. Hmm. Don't Maybe worry. you should ask her to tell you more. 
I was asked by her to come here and find you. We've all been searching for you. Why? That is not important. No, no, I feel like that, that is sounds important. Quite important. I am but threatening the ones you care about. Now, speak plainly or I will go and cut them to pieces. Why is Missy gone? Who made her leave? She's gone because she threatened us in broad fucking daylight. I don't know. Leah we... spoke of someone of higher power that you two are somehow connected to because they threatened you. Who was this person? I not already know. <laughs> Listen. I will not ask you again. This is your final chance. Who was this person? Look at me. It is no one I am associated with, and I mean that. I legitimately thought it possible you told her to skip town. I did not know of her leaving until one of the guard made it clear that she did leave. Right? So this person in high places is not with you. They look towards Aaliyah and Kara. Go on then, you two, start talking. In all honesty, I thought her skipping town meant we missed a certain message. Glad I was wrong about that. Yeah, why do you think we came here in the first place? <sighs> These are frustrated. Simply, you can feel eyes piercing at you from under the cloak, almost waiting. Go ahead. See what happens. I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> you really want to try it? I you know what I am. Know. You'd pull back their hood and you would see the face of a tiger. You I are know certain. what I am. And she'd call her Echo. <laughs> so you will not speak? There's nothing to say. You're we still threatening speak. us, and we're trying to tell you. Tell me we what? We cannot speak of what we don't know. That's what we're trying to say. Bullshit. She said that was one of you has somehow, because you were threatened, upset someone in a higher place. Who is this person? Those words left her mouth. And they left her mouth with purpose. She really doesn't tell you shit about the people she knows, does she? You really don't know anything of this operation of hers. Because I promise you, she probably knows. You could tell her what I said, and she'll know what fucking happened. She doesn't know. You and are she fools. Finds you. Yeah. Good day it's to you. Public I wish you knowledge. I wish you your time to say goodbye to your loved ones. They will be dead by dawn. And he oh, leaves. God, so bad. He goes. You can chase him if you want, but he's leaving. Alright, I'll found chase after him. <laughs> okay, you're chasing after him? Are you chasing after him with intent and threat? Or No, just chasing after him. <laughs> I think you should stay for a moment. I have information. Okay, he'll make a this is safe. He's actually not the best at that. Not one. Not one. That'll work. Good enough. He stops. What? Come here and stay for a moment. I... I'm staying for a moment. He was like looking at Leah like, bro. <laughs> I got him to stop fucking running. Or leaving. Okay, the moment I hit him, that goes away. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe surround him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll walk towards him. Stairs. Look. I truly don't know a great deal. <sighs> I don't, but I'm trying my damnedest here. I am truthful when I say... I am not connected to the person 
whoever it might have been, to make Missy leave. And we all are being legitimate when we say that we thought that we missed the deadline or something. We thought she left because of that. Answer this question in yes or no. Sure. Was the person involved related to any one of you? Related? No. 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 Rolled. Roll deception. Not related. It's, it's not related. It's deception, it's bro. Relation. It is deception. Yeah, it's deception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's no way in hell this is not deception. He's not related. <laughs> Here, I'm trying. Guess Sorry. what? Oh, God. Oh, this God. is all he got. Uh, he a cats. dumb bitch. He, he's not wise. Puts up his hood and sheathes his rapier. Your friends live another day. <laughs> we don't have friends. You That's sure seem close to that once. Be ashamed to see another building burn. Be ashamed to slice a kitten's throat. Be a shame for a cat to cut your tongue. <laughs> he draws the rape. You're again ready to fight. <laughs> no, Calm she's down. okay. She's putting her arms up. I'm kidding. I'm not doing shit. I just like to push your fucking buttons. That I do it get to you Lady killed of the one Night. Day. I do it with Lady of the Night. She goes back. It's nice. Good conversations, really. I do not understand that woman. She <laughs> is rape you and walks She up. has humor, unlike you. <laughs> you have madness in your mind, unlike her. Thank you. Let's <laughs> <sighs> be the three of you. Can we please go now? Well, at least we got the information we wanted. I literally can't handle this. I'm going. I... Oh, okay. She looks, she looks at Car in confusion. How do they not fucking know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Even Car is like, bro, I don't fucking know how they don't know who my dad is. <laughs> You are my dad. You're my dad. Is he really Sorry. just searching Look, my last name? Hi. Oh god, I'm so going. Same thing I was thinking. Thrown. I'm like, how do you not know who Xander is? Did you not see him at any point today? It's not like I'm hiding my real name. All right. Uh, I would say you all would meet up kind of just before eight. Um, I would say Arya would be with Oscu. Arya would say. So, glad you guys found each other. Anything eventful mm. happen, other than chasing each other? No, not really. Okay, great. How is it going with Marlon? It's good. I look towards Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. I lost two gold. You lost to him? But it was my first time gambling in a long time. No, no, this is wonderful. You lost to him, which means I can gamble with him and win and get some of your money in my pocket. Ah, uh, this whole gambling thing. I think it might be addicting. Yeah. Yes, I am aware By of that. By definition, it is, yes. Would you rather have me be addicted to that or something else? Well, anyway. I, I, think, <laughs> no, I think no addiction is the best choice. Depends on the fucking family. <laughs> All right. The fuck. You guys would enter inside, and you would see ATU and both um, Eric Errol, the captain, not the captain, the um, master of the adventure <laughs> Um Both of them would say, uh, well, ATU would say, are you ready to talk? Mm-hmm. Looks yeah. like Kara. There you go. Glad to see you're all unscathed. Follow me. And as you guys walk to the back of the Diplomacy Guild, that's what we're going to call it.